She is. She is. Well, welcome back, one and all, to the Centurion Podcast. It's good to have the Lawyer Legion of Legends back. I'm one of your hosts, Sweeney. I've got Jackson, Sean, Cooper with me. You know how it works by now. We've got 100 minutes, 100 shots, and 100 topics to get through in that time. This week, we're going to start with something a bit different. We're going to sum up last week's weekly challenge, say how we all did. Last week's challenge, of course, was to uh, walk the furthest amount of kilometres as you could through Monday, uh, Monday through Friday. We don't know how we've all done, so it'll be a bit of a reveal. Uh, Whoever wins is exempt. The people who came second and third have to do a hard shot of liquor. And whoever came fourth has to do that hard shot of liquor as well as the cinnamon challenge. So it'll be epic. Uh, also, a shout out to last week's dude, Hold My Beer winner, James Pacino, as well as the Status of a Plum Award, Adam Patterson. They're both back this week for some more questions. And as always, leave your questions in any format you can, whether that's on YouTube, Facebook, or messaging one of us directly. It's always great to have your patronage. And listen, I just can't wait to get stuck into it. Cheers, guys. Uh, this episode of the podcast is so- sponsored by our good friends over at Alpha Brain. Alpha Brain is a, new- a neurotropic that enhances cognitive function like memory, processing speed, and focus. Unlike other mental supplements that rely on caffeine, pick, Alpha Brain sources natural ingredients such as L-tyrosine, phyllodiesterine, and etoroforce that doesn't that don't cause an unpleasant afternoon crash like other mental supplements. It is supported by randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled parallel group efficacy studies. Also, for an exclusive period of time, our listeners get 20% off with the promo code BEER. That's BEER, B-E-E-R. So what are you waiting for? Unlock your mental capacity and become the hero in your own movie with Alpha Brain. So yeah, like I've been using Alpha Brain for the past week and I've just noticed I'm actually a better gamer because of it, because of my reaction speed. I've been doing uni work faster. Um, be able to like recall facts when I'm trying to- um, You can read well now as well. Who, and I can read and rip well. I'm also sexually potent, which I wasn't before. And it's a great product. Recommend. Sean, so, how was your week? So my week's been going on all right. Um, about the same thing is happening all week. Um, I'm going to get, to, first of all, to what everyone wants us to see. Everyone, what everyone wants to see, the results for this week's challenge from me. So I averaged 3.7 kilometers there. Um, so each one of those little dots is about 1.1. And then this big one right here is 16.5 kilometers. So that sums up to about 21.2 kilometers. Um, hoping that can beat at least one person here. Not looking forward to that cinnamon challenge. But um, you know what? I was a bit slack, I'll admit. Um, you can see a few times I was a bit lazy, only going about 1.1 kilometers the first, what, four days. So, you know, that's probably not a good sign of my fitness, but oh well. Um, what can you do? Busy Anything guy. else in the week? Um, no, nah, not really. Watch any like, movies? Yeah, no, so I watched The Blind Side um, as a part of this week's podcast review, so I have a lot to say about that. That's awesome. Jackson, your week. Yeah, um, uh, I don't know where to start. It's been a pretty big week for me. I, um, I've been working, you know, as always, but I, I went and I bought a car uh, earlier in the week, so got a 2013 Hilux, which is nice. It put a big old dent in the bank account. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I've just been walking, um, pacing. I saw some, some spiders on my walk. It was pretty spooky. How far did you walk Jackson? Um, in total, um, I got, uh, 34.1 kilometers, which is not bad. Um, yeah, nah, it's, it's not bad. There's, it has its ups and downs. I didn't do a lot on Monday, but uh, no, it was a pretty good week. Um, and I had fun and I've just been looking forward to the podcast mostly. Mm-hmm. So now I get to drink with my fellas. Oh, What's better than that, huh? That's great. Yeah. Hey guys, how are you going? Um, yeah, my week's been pretty tame, doing the same old stuff. Uh, for those who know me, I've uh, failed my driving test north of eight times. Don't know exactly how much, so I'm starting to drive again. Hopefully that I can uh, finally pass and drive my friends around and not be made fun of all the time. Uh, as for the walking challenge, you know, I'm pretty used to walking because I don't have a car. Uh, I, 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 I killed it. I got a uh, 40, 45.4 kilometers. Um, Into the lead. my strategy, yeah, took, took the lead. My strategy was, you know, just consistency is key. I may not have the best, uh, genetics or attributes, you know, but I knew if I kept to it and had the hard work, I could get the win. So that was my, uh, distribution there. My most, my biggest day being 11.6, but mostly I got, uh, got around between eight and 10 kilometers a day. Um, and I just, I just knew no one could keep up with my pace, you know? I kept it on him. I'm like the Michael Bisping of walking. I'm not that physically gifted, but once 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 you go toe to toe with me, I'm too competitive. I've got too much heart. 
you can't beat me. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with that. Well, this is I'm raining on Cooper's parade because I've won the walking challenge. I've kept him in the dark all week. After a shit start on Monday, I did nothing. On Thursday, I walked 30 kilometers. Uh, I set out, woke up at 6 a.m. and <laughs> tried to do a lap of the Swan River. I almost made it the entire way around, but I had to give up eventually. Uh, I'll get up a, a quick, a quick view of my path. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, I kept everyone in the dark about it. They thought I did shit. Uh, my total, uh, Cooper actually got close. So, forty-eight point nine kilometers. Ooh, so I've won shit. the weekly I've challenge. I've ten kilometers today too. Uh, I can't walk anymore. My feet are destroyed. Uh, but, you know, I knew, I knew just one big effort would do it. Consistency isn't key. That's a load of shit. Just one big effort will get you the win. <laughs> one lucky punch from the gods. <laughs> one lucky punch from the gods. That's all you need. And he's done it. The rest of my week was great, except for the Thursday where I was just fucking walking all day. Oh, all right. We well, go. challenge loser has to do a shot. So uh, everyone, yeah. uh, Jackson and Cooper, you have to do a hard shot of liquor. Okay. Uh, and then Sean's got to do the cinnamon challenge for losing, losing the challenge. Oh. I don't know if I can stomach a Kahlua shot again. You should have walked like further, mate. Oh. oh my god, the cinnamon! I can't believe I've pulled out. it off. What a win! I should have done. I, I, should, I literally should. I literally would have done ten k today too, Sweeney. If I knew you walked that much, I only went yeah, for a little. I had little to keep you in the today. dark. I yeah, knew it would be close. All right, you Sean, couldn't beat me at my best though. If you you're running me you're out of time. On. That's probably about if enough. <laughs> Sean, hurry up, mate! We're running out of time for you to do Sean, it. Sean, go! No, show here, me. Here comes the cinnamon shot. That's not enough. Nah, he's done it. Sean, you got ten seconds. Cinnamon challenge. Swallow it. You got to try to swallow it. <laughs> you didn't put enough on. Is that cinnamon sugar, Sean? No, I'm still off. Well, what fool? a shocking you... effort! Listen, uh, as Sean tries to recover, we got to announce our next week's challenge. And what that's going to be is uh, we're going to come up with a theme song for the show. Maybe uh, probably like maximum twenty second, I suppose, jingle for the start and end. Uh, Next week, we'll vote on what's the best. We'll maybe get some fan input for that. But uh, yeah, need a jingle. So anyone have any predictions as to how that'll go? Cooper, who do you think is going to win that challenge? Uh, are, are you allowed to like hire people on your behalf or do you yeah. have to make it yourself? Yeah, yeah you well, I, 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 I'm, I'm kind of a big shot in the uh, music industry. I know I've got a lot of connections. So I can probably, can probably get hooked up to a good producer. Cooper, I've heard people refer to you as um, the Harvey Weinstein of the music industry. <laughs> Like Jesus, I don't, I don't know about that. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe in sort of terms of network, but not, not for the rape and uh, <laughs> terrible things done to women. I wouldn't like to be known for that. Yeah. Um, but, but uh, I'm, I'm confident, you know. I, Jackson, I, I'm, what's your strategy I'm a bit on my toes, for this though. Next well, Guess listen, we uh, listen. In Minions lore, the Minions always serve the baddest person of all time, or the current worst person on the planet. That begs the question, how would Minions have affected the outcome of World War II? Jackson? That's a good one. Um, Hitler? That's <laughs> what the Minions would have served, I guess. They but would, would they have... have helped him? or? Yeah, they would have yeah. said banana and... I assume so. <laughs> but I feel like that's imagine, what they do. Imagine the Minions just directing a big... um. What's that thing called? The Nazi, Nazi attack? Holocaust. No, no. Blitz What's their screen. attack maneuver called? Blitzkrieg. Yeah, Blitzkrieg. Blitzkrieg. Big Blitzkrieg headed by the minions. I feel like I've had a minions Blitzkrieg whenever I add an old woman on Facebook. <laughs> you get it. I, I used to feel oh, like yeah, I got I, like a, them. I used to get confused a lot while reading, and it felt like I was getting a minion Blitzkrieg. But now I've um started taking an acupuncture. <laughs> Alpha, Alpha brain. brain. Alpha brain. <laughs> <laughs> Listen up. Uh, which Listen. actor would you want you uh, to play you in a movie? Uh, Sean, who would you want? Um, oh, <clears throat> um, probably Hayden Christensen. Um, just a great actor. Um, I'd like to pull it off and I'd also like to see him blackface. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, gee, I don't know how to follow that. I, I, I don't know. Probably I'm trying to think of actors that look like me. I've got Seth Rogen a bit, but I don't, I don't really like many of his movies and you'd probably want to flatter yourself so then people, look, you know, um, try to... You could you be know, played they, by Harvey Weinstein. You look a bit like him. <laughs> Shit. Um, yeah, or maybe, uh, what's yeah. his other name? Jonah Hill. Oh, yeah. When he's, when he's, when he's skinny and fit. Jackson? And <sighs> um, I reckon... Um, Matt Damon. Nah, like David Spade, maybe. Nah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that. 
Yeah. Well, next question, we Sean, what have you got for us? <laughs> um, so, do we like our spinach wilted or raw? Um, I think Cooper's the local spinach expert. I think, I think we talked about this last podcast, but um, <sighs> we talked about spinach uh, and fine eggs. I don't, I don't like about wilt, I don't like wilted spinach because it actually gets a lot of the nutrients out. It's much easier to eat and it's like clumped down, so you can have more of it. Uh, easily, and it gets the nutrients. You gotta have a raw. Out, you gotta have the raw. Yeah, and it's because you soak with olive oil and stuff. Nah, it's not. It's not good. No, but where do the nutrients better. go? Taste better. Okay. They just, just just get boiled up, mate. They get evaporated into the air. For get the birds cooked to up. Eat. The air. The air takes it. Oh. So when you went to the last vegetable you had, <laughs> I had spinach today uh, on on a burger. What do you think? Of, what do you think of vegetables? Um, oh, it depends what veg. I'm not big on vegetables. Let's be honest. But there's some that are all right. I don't mind spinach. Broccoli, what's your What's your least potato. favorite? What's your, <laughs> My least what's your... favorite. Cauliflower. Yeah. I really don't care for. Cauliflower's awesome. Oh, that's pretty good. No, is not cauliflower good. the one on that uh, Nike ad? Uh, drink. So the next question we got is women's basketball or men's netball? Which is better and why? This one's from Riley Shout Hughes. That's a Riley Hughes. That's interesting, um, I, that one. I think, I think, I think women's basketball. <laughs> I, I don't think there's like, a, a, there's like an established male netball league, is there? There's a men still play netball, you know. Just yeah, that's it's players. an Olympic sport. For men? Yeah. Yeah. How about all, that? Sports, all sports are all genders. They're playing netball, are they really men though, am I right, fellas? Yeah, good point. Great question. Come on, guys. <laughs> you reckon? <laughs> you reckon? Um, <laughs> probably yeah, men's netball probably makes more money. No, nah, um, I'd probably say that. was actually relatively established. Yeah, nah, they no, just, it they, is. It is. Nah, like, Men's netball. No, that's no. Like, I, like I, like make... I like looking at tall women too. It's kind of it kind mm. of gets something going. They make a huge like... loss in the NBA to cover it up. Just saying. So I think men's netball probably more. Do you popular. reckon two? How would they make money on? Oh, shit. So question. next question is Eleanor Oprah Jackson. Who who's your favorite? Oprah. Oprah's got soul, man. You're Ellen... homophobic. Nah, Ellen sucks, dude. <laughs> Apparently, she's such You're a homophobic. Like, people yeah, who Ellen write sucks. For her, so like she's such a savage. And there's like a thing that people have uploaded on YouTube. It's like she says a joke and no one laughs, and she's like, "Oh, whoever wrote that's going to get fired. Like, going to get fired next time yeah. I see them in like the room." And everyone's like, "Oh, get him, Ellen." Apparently, he got absolutely chewed out. And then he got fired. That just sounds yeah. like good business. That why are you why are they running yeah. shit jokes? Twenty twenty. Did, did you see? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Oprah. Everyone yeah. flops every I, now and again. <laughs> did you see, yeah, did you see, did you see Oprah fall on her own leg the other day? No, I didn't no. see. She was talking, doing a speech about balance, and she falls over. Everyone was shitting on her. She doesn't have, um, a, have a husband or anything, so her entire network doesn't she? Is going to her kids. You don't have a dogs. husband. Yeah, no, I will soon. I've got the catalog. Get yeah, a bit of pick and choose from there. Sean, don't you deliver catalogs? <laughs> That's supposed to mean. Um, which natural disaster would you most want to avoid? This is from Connie Wilkins. Um, probably earthquake, right? Actually, no, tsunami. Surely tsunami ships and everything. Yeah. Uh, you can't really do it like a flood. Tsunami gets there. there. Like like earthquake, that. you're probably going to live. Flood, nah. Yeah, tsunami's just a big flood. flood would be almost, like, kind of cool in a few ways, you know? It's kind of like, everything nah, is just wet. Is. Yeah, I don't think it is. kayak would be pretty epic. Hurricanes would be awesome. Yeah, uh, hurricanes would be pretty cool. fuck you up, I think. It's windy as like fuck. Like tsunami. Tsunami's be all those things. Yeah, tsunami causes everything. Everything's everything. wet. Yeah, it causes no, earthquake, earthquake. earthquake causes a tsunami. No, Actually, earthquake is a bit of shaky shape. It is probably like a volcanic eruption onto you. Yeah, but it's like yeah, you're yeah, just yeah, done there. Yeah, <clears throat> tsunami means you can car. like ride a sick wave and that's how you go out, you know? Mm. Yeah, cowabunga. Yeah. Volcano explosion? Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Um, besides that, is there any, is there any besides flood, hurricane? Hail, hurricane? imagine dying from hail. What an idiot like a, you'd have to be. When they land, like a subduction, when the land just caves in. Subduction. Um, Panadol or Nurofen from Richard Cameron. Um, I'll go first. Um, Nurofen doesn't do anything. Panadol. Nurofen, Nurofen's useless. Doesn't have any, and you yeah, can't like drink Panadol for it. me. You can't drink and eat it on an empty stomach. Yeah, Panadol Nurofen is... Can't, it hurts your stomach, yeah. So uh, pan- no, Nurofen hurts your stomach, so it's Panadol yeah. for me. Panadol's awesome, but Nurofen is <clears throat> got ibuprofen in it, which is like is that what... stronger, isn't it? Cooper, he's ibuprofen. the he's the chemical expert. Uh, alpha Brain, he's done a lot of research. I just so. have Alpha Brain. I never get a headache ever because my uh, brain's just functioning at such a high level. It's fine. It's yeah, just right. no like stress that. on the Should brain. I, Oh, God, that's like the third it. podcast I think you've said that to me I've f- fucking had enough of it okay Jackson if you say the next podcast at this point you're just bullying him 
I'm gonna ruin you, okay? You I'm gonna expose you. Me. Get and you called me and you called me Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> that wasn't him. Was it him? <clears throat> anyway, next question is um do people with glasses have sex with them on or off? This is from Nabi. Um This is a big problem in the glasses community. Glasses? This is why yeah. people who have glasses are often uh, gay. It's because they mm. go try to have sex with a woman, but they have their glasses off, so they don't know fucking what they're touching. And, <laughs> that's a great <laughs> point. Holy shit. That's why people with glasses, they're nerdy, a bit more gay. You're mm. homophobic. But they no, fog up. Good on They fog up. If you, were, if you were doing After it. That, <laughs> you can get the anti-fog, I think. I think glasses. You'd surely just wear contact lenses, like as a serious response. No fogging for them. Nah, glasses are cool. Like glasses. Dude, I think it would be like some people's attraction is like their glasses, so they would probably keep it on. You know, mm. like e girls, mm. they have a lot of their glasses on. Don't they keep they? their gamer. Like, oh, did you used to wear fake <laughs> glasses? <laughs> yeah, but I didn't have vision problems. That's why I wasn't did gay. You, did you keep them on during sex? Um, he oh, wouldn't be able to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so how would you dispose of a dead body? Uh, I'm sweet. Um. I think you'd try to like cremate it first in some capacity. Then you're probably left with bones that you'd try to like break down. And then I think you just bury it deep somewhere. Uh, probably. I don't yeah, know. It's down in Kings Park, I reckon. So. Mm. No, I think you'd avoid it like park, like Kings Park or something. Oh, no, I'd just fucking go down south into the middle of fucking nowhere. Just... I'd just jam a needle with heroin into their arm and kick them out on the street somewhere. Yeah, on your fingerprints. I would, I, would, I would hire. I would hire like a group of bikies that I've used to um do like criminal defence for and get them to uh, drive to Kings Park and bury them six feet. Yeah, you definitely. I think the consensus here is Kings Park. Um, head down. Probably. I mean, Kings Park. Oh, no, the head's up, wasn't it? That's no, been tried. Head face down. down. Oh, go, that, what, what was OJ's cool excuse? That? What was OJ's excuse? The glove didn't fit. Uh. Um. Next question here. Which was a better gimmick? The touchscreen controls or motion controls? Um, probably touchscreen. I mean, I mean, motion controls. No one uses motion controls anymore. Everyone uses touchscreens. What are motion controls better, like, like? Like the on a Wii, Wii and the Connect stuff like that. On phone, um, whenever I put my phone down um, and I've typed something, it'll say undo type because you shook the phone. Yeah. Yeah, but then you type something. You touched it. You just touch way more than tight and then shaking your phone. How can you shake your phone? I think this is a... Every day my phone shakes. I think this is a consensus question. I think Mm. think the better gimmick is is touch controls. It's more, you know, widely disseminated. It's everywhere, you know? It's a bit... The gimmick? What do you mean? Is that what a gimmick means? Well, it was a gimmick in that... It's useful. When it was conceptualized, it was was a bit of a gimmick, you know? Yeah, but it's not really a gimmick anymore, is it? Well, then I guess the question just sucks. Fuck you, whoever wrote that. Yeah, who asked this? Uh, blank one. Um, so this one's from Dylan Costanza. Should I drop out of uni? Um, yeah, it's a scam. I've come to learn that this week, actually, since I had to pay $16,000 to the uni. Uh, I think it's a scam. At least postgrad's a scam. The whole thing's probably a scam. Don't trust them. Um, yeah, uni sucks. Unless you're yeah. doing like, like law, engineering, uh, like accounting, maybe, uh, I just medicine, think, Yeah, whether you should science. drop out is depending on like where Chinese you are in your degree. Computer? The alternative uh, medicine. Uh, yeah. if you like, like acupuncture. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what's not alternative medicine. Alpha brain. <laughs> it's, it's backed by double blind yeah, right. parallel. Uh, listen, um, I think whether you drop out of uni is contingent on where you are in uni. So if you're like two out of three years in, you might as well stick it out. But if you're just starting, yeah. you're doing shit, or you're changing. De- once you start wanting to change degrees, change that's when it's time, time to pull. Man. Them out, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So Dylan, I think yeah, you should drop out. Mm. I think lot- Dylan would always be done. <laughs> Um, last question from me is if you could take out one country, what country would you choose and why? Um, I guess I'll start. Um, probably, probably India. Is that a hot take? Not hot from a Sri Lankan. That's a pretty standard take from a Sri Lankan. Yeah, that's probably, hate, pretty, that's probably true. Days. Um, more so by 2020. Their food's kind of shit. Actually, that's a good point. I'm going to stop right there because they, they are going to be a superpower. Did yeah. you just say that? Jackson, food? Jackson, really? who would you take out? Um, a country that I would take out would have to be um, 
North Korea, man. Those guys yeah. suck. Cooper? Mm. Uh, probably Germany. You know, they've pretty much started both of the world wars. They, they look nice at the moment, but I reckon they could arc up again. Uh, um, I reckon they're planning something. I would, I would take uh, out uh, Israel, I think. Mm. Uh, I would take I, out your mum on a nice date. Alice Why don't Diner? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Bing. Uh, listen, Jackson, what do you got for us? Oh, what's the perfect amount of standard drinks to consume on a night out, fellas? That one's from a Nabi. What do we reckon? I know. You know um, what? 20, I don't, think, I don't, 20, think, it's, I don't think it's a number. I think it's about more of a t- how much, how consistently you're doing it, you know? Like I, I said earlier, know. consistency is key. I think you've got to keep going. And that no, makes the no. night better rather I, than yeah. like bombing it at the start. I think it's contingent on who you are and like what your tolerance is. But I, I think standard drinks, I reckon around like 10 for most people, like gets them at least to a... You know, for some people that'll make them super drunk, for some it'll only get them to an extent. But I think very few people are having 10 standard drinks and not feeling anything. So I'd say around 10 is a rule of thumb. How much is there in a Centurion? But that's what I'm saying though. It's more because it's like fast. Speed is more than anything. Centurion's like 15. Maybe a little bit less, I think. But yeah. But like it's because we're doing doing it fast. It's because we're doing it fast. They sell 40% liquors in 700 ml bottles for a reason. Just saying. Oh, yes. Okay, fellas. Um, Milo on the top or the bottom of the glass? What both. Do you reckon? You both. Yeah, That's I agree. Just insane. Yeah. No, I agree. The Milo explosion. I think you if know? you had to pick one, the bottom's better because then it seeps into the liquid more. That uh, so if you had to pick one, but you like mix it up when it's in the top. Sweeney, and then Sweeney's it's like, a bottom. I agree. I agree. I'm I'm a top. nice emulsion of. I like controlling. No, I like both, right? But I think if you had to pick one, I, like you can stir at the top. You also like it emulsifies at the bottom as well if you stir it. You know? Yeah. Emulsify. Word emulsify. Of the day. Spell emulsify right now. That's word of the That should be emulsify. in your segment, actually. Spell emulsify. E M U L S I F Y. I imagine. No, he's got it in front of him. We'll get someone. I, we'll get. We'll get someone. Oh, he was planning that. that the entire time to drop the wall. I literally dropped it because Jackson dropped it earlier uh, when he was. Uh, and then we'll we'll get, get call him out on it. Back check that. <laughs> Jackson never said emulsify. Yeah, I said, said emulsion. Look at Jackson. <laughs> I said emulsion. I mean, he's admitting. Look at Jackson. All right. Um, does Sean have a drinking problem? <laughs> what do we all reckon? After his answer yeah, of 24. That comes yeah. from Jess Tropicola. It's pretty that bad. I was, talking, I was talking to Sean yesterday, and sorry to tell tales out of school, but after Sean being quite hungover after Tuesday, the next day, we're playing Xbox, he sounded terrible. He fainted on the toilet, and afterwards he said, boy, I still, are we drinking tonight? And I was like, no, you fainted. I was going to think Sean. Um, Sean didn't have a drinking problem until after last week's Centurion, when he said, fellas, I can't be bothered doing this next week. We should just bulk record episodes. Like four more <laughs> yeah, now. that was now. bad. I thought, Jesus. I'm just mate, saying, like, I'm just saying, let me know what you think out there. If you do think we should double back on episodes, I mean, the first one might be a bit slow, but the second one, you got to think about the, the reward there. So, so the worst, the worst is how many people you offend once you start drinking, Sean. Yeah. yeah. Um, bit... Well, that, that's, I think my apology is coming up next week. So I guess we'll wait for that. <laughs> yeah, so, you might Sean's running it back. I apologize for that. We'll see that More on that next week. Um, fellas, what do we reckon? What should we call our fans? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, listen, a fair bit of uh, conjecture. So we, we've been going with the Legion or the Loyal. All 10 of them. Uh, Are 10 people legion really a Legion though? Uh, the LLL, if you will. Yeah, the Loyal Legion call, of Legends. Can we it? call them Legionnaires? Is that appropriate? I mean, it's just that Legion or Legionnaires is appropriate, but it doesn't make it. You, you wanted to call them like Spartans or something. Yeah, uh, yeah. Here, that makes sense. Yeah, I mean. I what, want to call them my children. What, yeah, yeah. What, we, what else do we reckon? You yeah, know, any other them. ideas? Um. No, we have to have yeah. like a bro fist equivalent. Yeah. Or I guess yeah, just a, wait, a dude punch. Can we get a dude punch? A dude punch. Yeah, the cheers. Yeah, el- the up. elbow. The elbow during coronavirus, fellas. Yeah. Oh, I want to get the orange screen back up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. If you take it, please stand by. <laughs> oh. Holy shit. Uh, um, have you ever been to the hairdresser uh, and the barber's cock <laughs> falls crazy your elbow? Yeah. What do you say to that? When you can't really say anything. I don't but, say uh, anything. Yeah, yeah. Has, has that happened to everyone? 
No. Not really. Not directly. No, but I mean, they're getting close. They're getting... Maybe I was just molested by my hairdresser. I, I never go to but a they, naked they, hairdresser, coming. right? So he's at least... He's <laughs> the at worst part about was he was naked. Yeah. Clothes on. Yeah. yeah. Worst part about it, he didn't move. He bumped and just, and just kept it no, there. So I haven't had that at a... I've, I haven't had that in a hairdresser, but when I went to a, the acupuncturist, they were saying like that that happened. But it was a... Yeah, it was a bit worse than that even. But yeah, you know. What happened afterwards? You were sexually impotent after. I was rendered sexually impotent. I couldn't rip well. It doesn't even matter well. No. You couldn't Could even you... spell emulsify, you idiot. No, listen, I, you spell I, I feel like in that scenario, you just don't say anything. You can't. You say, you can't... You say buy me a drink first. That's what I said. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty epic. Then he slits your throat with his, his razor. <laughs> he said, fuck you, gay lord. He kills me. He's homophobic. Drink. Um, well, we got uh, my fun fact for the week. Um, Woohoo! Strap yourselves in. Yeah, so everybody buckle up and get ready for this one. Um, my fun fact for the week is that on computers, um, the space bar wasn't invented until 2007. <laughs> space wasn't real until 2007. Yeah, the space bar is quite I know late that. to uh, the party. Yeah. yeah, I guess so. Yeah, so fellas, what do you all think of that? When the last time you cried, Jackson? <laughs> um, that's not a fun fact. That's a sad fact, isn't it? Yeah, you got right. something joyful at least. I reckon five months ago, maybe. Oh, yeah. What about you, Cooper? Uh, I'm trying to think. I think I, I'm not sure if I've cried this year. I might no, have. you I have. Know. Actually, no, I, was, I, was, I got into a fight earlier and I cried. You after uh, a night out. That's mom. you crying. So you haven't gone out. Uh, um, Cooper, I hear you've uh, got a trilogy to explain to us. Dark Knight, what do you reckon? Oh, gee, I'm not even. Is that the Batman one? The yeah. Dark Knight trilogy, yeah, you got to explain. I think it. I've oh, I've only watched the middle one with Heath Ledger, the Jocker. But um, I think I've, I've seen scenes. The first one, the first one, he's like, he's like a nerd, and he's not like trained yet, and he's a, he's a bit of a bitch. And then he meets Liam Neeson, and yeah. Liam Neeson makes him like sick. trains into bit. And then he like oh he throws God. bat no because he's scared of bats because like his dad died when like there was a bat around or something. Oh, no, he got chucked into the well when there was bats around. Batman so killed then, his dad. So yeah. then, so Liam Neeson like throws like gets him around bats to conquer his fear, and he becomes strong. And then Two more moves versus, 20 more seconds. Then he versus the Joker and he fucks him up. He fucks him up so bad that he's let you die from real life, not only in the movie. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then in the third movie, he fights, he fights like under Undertaker because I've run out of, uh, out of people. Could he rit yeah. well at the end of it? Nah, he got an acupuncture. He got really retired acupuncture. at the end of it. Yeah, yeah he, 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 stop he got exactly. made retired. He gave his powers to an orphan at the end of it. Um, <laughs> what's the strangest thing you guys have ever witnessed while sleeping at a friend's house? Oh, their dad's cock. Have you actually, Sean? Um, nah, I've only been to like... Uh, probably not. You'd hope not. He told me to <laughs> my eyes, so I didn't, get, I didn't see it. I just felt it. Um, people have probably seen a few wacky things at my house. Have you have you ever um, been to like a sleepover where like the parents start fighting and it's like really awkward? No. I've been in that. Oh, I've, I've been in a sleepover that. where uh, <laughs> yeah, we have where the we? parents and stuff, but the parent and the kid that I was at the house's sleepover it was started fighting, and then yeah. I got driven home and like they stopped caring about stop signs. On Twenty the way kilometers home. over the speed limit too. <laughs> Yeah. The big question. The big question is: is um, do you when like when the son gets kicked out or when the person gets kicked out, do you stay over or do you leave? We got you, kicked you, out. We got driven home. Oh, right? Mother, oh, yeah. kicked yeah. out. Well, shout out to Oscar Belshaw for the question. Yeah, <laughs> um, loyal, loyal listener. Maybe. Maybe. Um, fellas, do you fold or hang t-shirts? What do you reckon? What's the best way to go, Sean? I think um, neither. By the looks, uh, probably hang. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Um, Sydney's catching up. Uh, hang. Yeah. You just put them straight in the hanger. Don't need to deal with it. No creases. Although yeah, I know my patented crease shirts. But um, Folding is a bit of a pain, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Just get, get a bit of a bother. Bother. I think both are a bit of a bother. Too. I don't even fold. I'll, I think hanging them is best if you can. But I think you can do an ad hoc fold quicker. But honestly, I'll just chuck them in. Who, who cares? But I think I folding is woman, the ideal They do it for me. Hanging is the ideal thing. Sorry. Hanging, yeah. Cooper, elaborate. <laughs> Cooper, uh, I, feel, I feel like hanging. I think I like hanging. Really? Folding, folding, it just, I always, I always mess it up anyway. And by the time I want to wear it, it's creased. Um, but yeah, I don't really wear many t-shirts. I'm more of a collared shirt guy, which you always hang. What are you wearing at the moment? Yeah, you're wearing, you're I'm wearing, wearing a Nike, a Nike shirt, I think. An, an, it looks like an a t-shirt. Yeah, it does look like a t-shirt. Yeah, but because I'm at home, you know, when I'm going out. Um, what's a crazy story from something that's happened uh, on the street of your childhood home? 
Uh, make them quick, fellas. Sweeney, oh, why don't you start? Yeah, here, really quickly. My childhood home, like the street, that's the street that is really iconic Perth figure called The Walking Man lived on. This guy had this arched up. back and just like walked down Sterling Highway back and forth every day. Like just looked fucking weird. Hey, uh, we he know- used to carry, people called him the wheelbarrow man, actually. He carried a wheelbarrow around and no one understood why, but he hey. lived there. Mate, all I'm going to say, that story reeks of white privilege. The craziest thing to happen on your street is some guys walking down it. You live uh, in my neighbourhood. It's a bit it's a bit different, you know? All, all what's all the I'm craziest thing to happen on your neighbourhood? We had a home invasion. And like, that's the, racist. The you're saying, oh, it's white privilege on my neighbourhood because some guy's just walking. And now you're saying, oh, my neighbourhood's more no, diverse. Because, there's because, a home because, invasion. No, because you're richer racist. people, richer neighbourhoods tend to be predominantly white because society's racist. You know, I, I lived in... You are racist, to be fair, Cooper. Sean, your weekly movie racist. review. Uh, what have you got, oh, yeah. Cooper? Your turn on the questions, um, Chief. So this week, this week was The Blind Side. Um, one of our one of our one of our listeners' favorite movies. So pretty much what I thought of it was that The Blind Side is a 2009 American <laughs> bibliographical sport <laughs> drama, written and directed by John Lee Hancock, based on the 2006 book The Blind Side: Evolution of a Game by Michael Lewis. The storyline features Michael Other, an offensive lineman <coughs> who was drafted by the Baltimore Ravens in the NFL. The film follows Other from his impoverished upbringing through his years in Wingate Christian School, a fictional representation of another Christian school he went to in Memphis, Tennessee. What do you give it out of 10, Sean, real quick? Um, a one. I didn't like Why? it. What did you like about it? You didn't um, like it? What did no, you like I didn't about like it. My favourite part. Well, <laughs> <laughs> okay, next next question. Uh, sleeping naked. What do we think, fellas? Sean? Actually, no, we'll I'll go with Jackson. Sean just started. Oh, Jackson. yeah. I used to be a big fan, but then I got in a relationship and I'm sweaty, so I stick to my girlfriend too much, so I have to wear a shirt. You stick you're, to more, her. you're more sweaty the more clothes you have on, I think. Yeah, yeah but then no, you're not sticking Clothes her, don't skin. stick to no, yeah. stick. Unless they're really wet, I guess. Wait, you yeah. sweaty? Yeah, I sleep naked. I've slept naked for the last. 10 years or something. What about when your yeah. mum comes in? Even at sleepovers, like, you used to sleep naked. Out. That's why you got kicked out of that house. What yeah. are you talking about? You were sleeping over at your friend's house and you were naked. Yeah. And you were kicked out. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. A bit sus, um, that. No, I don't like great. it. It's good. No, Wait, I don't like it. What if someone walks in? What if someone walks in in the morning? Yeah. I do it. Uh... No one does. You just lock your door or something. You just don't let tiny cops just out. You'll be exposed, Sean. How do you lock on their door? If you don't have a lock on your door, sleeping naked effectively is a lock on your door because no one's coming in after that. Yeah. Good point. Next question. Uh, Would you rather visit North Sentinel Island or Little St. James Island, which is uh, Epstein's private island? This is a great Uh, question, actually. Sweeney? Uh... Uh, the Little St. James Island, because you wouldn't get killed there. North Sentinel, anyone tries to You're go pedophile. to... pedophile. That's they disgusting. Just get, they just, Sean. Well, I don't Cooper. think there's, there's still kids on the Epstein's Island. You'd, you'd hope not. <laughs> oh, mate, I don't know how deep it runs, but have you seen the, like, the photo of like him in the uh, aeroplane with like, is it like um, Bill Clinton? Yeah, yeah. Going yeah. to this yeah. island? Man, yeah. that's the crazy time, I reckon. Is North Sentinel think? the Come Force one? No, 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 no that's North a different Sentinel's one. North Sentinel's the uncontacted Sentinel, one in India. They they uh, hate they like you get murdered though because like a hundred years ago I don't know how long ago it was but the first guy who went there that wasn't a part of it he went there and he was like a legit pervert it was probably Epstein himself and he was like measuring all their dicks he was like doing a bunch of weird things to give the data on that tr- how do you know that oh, it is no it is legit the, he went over there it was like some anthropologist dude and he did a bunch of weird shit with him. Right, Evan acupuncher no, uh, no, 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 fuck fuck no. Mary kill the other three hosts of this podcast all right quick Sean Sweet. go for uh, oh, me sure. first uh, look I I would marry Jackson. <laughs> Uh, fuck Sean. I probably kill Cooper. Jackson. Fuck Sean. <laughs> um, I would um fuck Sean because he's the best looking. I'd marry Cooper because of his personality. And I'd kill Sweeney. Though. You're a yeah. fuckhead. I think um, I, I would. I would fuck. I'd fuck Sean. Same. And then Jackson Sweeney's a bit of a tosser. I think I feel like Jackson would love me more. But uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I'd probably marry Jackson. Same, same, same as Jackson. Sean, what do you got? Sweeney, like Sweeney would grow it. cold, uh, and he would love the children. Probably. Probably marry Jackson. Oh, f- fuck Cooper. Jackson's very marryable, isn't he? Kill yeah. Sweeney. Sean's very oh, fuckable yeah. as well. No, and yeah. I've kill seen Kill Sweeney. No, we all know Jackson from uh, past episodes. He's a single dad as well. well, so you could divorce if you needed to. And, yeah, you know he mm, still, still take care foster of him. those Actually. children. You've just got so big dad I think consensus there yeah. is I get killed. Jackson married Sean. Fuck. Okay, what's what's the best font? What do we like, guys? 
Helvetica Sorry. is pretty it's zodiac. Sick. Nah, Zep. What's that one? Zeppelin. Zip. Zippo. I like Ariel. Papyrus. You like Ariel Hawani. Yeah, the Ariel Hawani show. The Ariel Hawani show. <laughs> Ari- Shout out to weapon. Ariel Hawani boxing. I like um. I, I like because well, when you're in like uni and like later years of school, you don't really have a choice. You have to use like Times yeah. New Roman, Ariel, Helvetica. But I quite like um when I was like younger. I always use Skya. I really like Skya. It's quite modern. Yeah. Um, I, think, I honestly think Times New Roman's good. Everyone thinks it's like yeah, boring, I, but I think, I like like I think of good. the default ones, it's the yeah, best out of the, one. Yeah, so out, out of the big Ariel. three or four. No, nah, Ariel, nah, nah, Ariel, Ariel looks like the Ariel default. Ariel needs some more like serif on it. Photo, photo, like, serif. slideshow that you can do in school. So nah, what, about, what do we all think about um, Oswald? Who's that? I don't Patton know. or Lee Harvey? Lee Harvey. Mm. Uh, he's a bad dude. Uh, next question: Would you give up a test school if it meant uh, there'd be a vaccine? Uh, there'd be a vaccine made for coronavirus? No, I wouldn't. Um, I mean, I, I think for fairness in the question, you have to assume the 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 uh, the virus would be or the vaccine would be one hundred percent effective. But even still, like, I don't think I'm going to get coronavirus, and even if I get it, I probably won't die. And then of the people that I yeah, care about, who could good. die from it, there's probably only like you know. 70 people in total that I care about who could die, who would die. And I care about but my test. If you lose more one ball, what happened? Nothing happened. Yeah, I was going to say, do you die or something from that? Or what no, I don't, I don't think you do. I think you just can't come as much. Oh, no, I, I, think I, you, anyway. I think if you get one ball removed, the other one just swells up and you get a super nut. Yeah, That's kind of good, though, isn't it? What if you, you got kicked in the nuts? Would that be more really? or less painful? Or less, surely. But you're just having one jump. It's a super nut. Oh, if it's a super nut, you never one know. I guess nut. actually, oh, wait, it has, it ha- the one nut would have more space to swim about in it, you know? It'd, it'd, I was thinking of kidneys, actually. You get a kidney cut out it. Yeah, it's not balls at all. Uh, how how long should sex last for? That comes from uh, Griffin Triscari. I like to start with you, Jackson. Um, a lot of sex, don't you? Very 45 person. seconds, probably. Oh, oh really? Um, Gongoloid. 44 seconds too long. Sean? Um, I'll probably have to go with probably... I don't know the quicker the better. Then you can move on to other other dude stuff like gaming. It's about, about well, being efficient. I'll probably go it's like actually 50. it's actually quite long for me because I got to factor in like the four minutes of crying and convincing it takes me to even start, and, and the then pedophile from then, apology. Yeah, and then me and me reassuring them that know what their parents won't find out. Um, mm-hmm. But after that, it's pretty quick. You have the ID check. Um, I don't know. I think it depends who you're having sex with. You know, some people deserve. A bit of a you know more efficient effort than others. You know, some people you know need have places nice. to be. So, uh, how about with the woman minutes, you love? I'm going to say is the perfect time for sex. Hey. Twelve minutes, forty five seconds. Uh, Twelve uh, minutes, Dongoloid. Uh, Costco. What are your thoughts on that? Just a shout out to our uh, Dylan Costanza for that one. Um, I haven't been. I haven't been, so I don't really. I saw fuel at Costco the other day. It was like sixty cents. So wow, that's cheap. Yeah, I don't know. It costs that this? you pay. A has, anyone, has anyone been yet? No, it's a, it's a supermarket. Uh, yeah, you um, have to pay to go in though. Do you? Like a, yeah, you got to. Yeah, pay no, you need a membership to buy shit from there. Oh, what? That's oh, why everything's so cheap. Like a, it's like fifty dollars a month or like something. Another, I thought it was like a Kmart mixed with like a Coles. It was like a bit. Nah, it's, 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 feel, it's like fifty dollars a month, but then like they expect you to make your money back off that. It's like the only place you go, I assume. Like, yeah, it was, yeah. Well, the only one near us is at the airport. That's miles away. So, nah. <laughs> Doesn't that kind of shoot off. itself in the leg, though? If it's like wanting people to come every day for the membership, but if it's like out near the airport. Yeah, nah. It doesn't it's really just, work. It's just not going to happen. I come every day anyway. Do you? To, to Costco or on your yeah, own belly? Yeah, to Costco. Belly? Yeah. Oh. To Costa. You come every day to Costa. Shout out yeah. to Alexander Costa. Shout out to Costa. Who's that? Who's one of favorite movie? Okay. The best civilization that was destroyed by uh, British colonization. That goes out to our friend Jack Algar. What do we think, guys? Uh, destroy it. Um, the, yeah. I the Maori? Uh, I know Maori? Thing, but the Maori were, were, were like gone pretty, pretty fucking well. But there were, there were, there were there's still like the remnants, like yeah, there's much yeah, more Maori yeah. than there are like, other places. It'd obviously destroyed. be super different if they had like the entirety of New Zealand still to themselves. So, you know, I think like they're destroyed to a requisite extent. I don't how think many, the British many, like fully destroyed the- any civilization, say. Uh, like what about entirely. what about the white Australians when they sent them to Gallipoli? We got we got pretty wrecked there, didn't we? I don't think that, that was in colonization. Was I feel like that was more in defence. Mm. Um, mm. I think the Maoris maybe. How, uh, what, how many Maoris are there in New Zealand? It's, it's like thirty percent. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty. Oh, high. Yeah. That's, yeah. Quite, that's quite a lot. lot. Despite making up only thirty percent, they make up ninety oh. percent of the good rugby players. 
Yeah. Okay. Next. Next question. At what age um, did you think you were strong enough to beat up your mum? I've got a. I've got a. If you don't mind, I'll have a quick story on this. I actually got into a fight with um, a, Ma- a Maori mother when I was eight. It was when you just started first playing uh, contact rugby, and I palmed a kid, which wasn't really done that age, and I, I, I got him with my palm, and then she legit ran on the field and like ran like jumped on me, and my co- co- like coaches had to pull her off, and I was crying, and she fucked me up, and I think I was eight then, so I pr- probably a little bit older, eleven. Make my mum fall. You have to hit puberty kitchen. first. I reckon it's like, just, when yeah. do you hit but puberty? Mate, mate. No, but 11... Yeah. Have your mum's different to a Maori mum? Yeah, my mum my mom will get fucked up. Your mum could get wrecked like six, I reckon. Sure, Jimmy, you still probably. couldn't beat up your mum. Oh, mate. I would like to see... Give you me an talk. age. Give me an age, Jackson. Um, I'm going to say seven to me. Yeah. Seven's young. I reckon, I reckon 11, 12. Nine. I reckon nine. I could probably do it. Nah, nine, you're pretty small, though. I reckon maybe it'll be a fair fight then, but like by 11, 12, you, you've got them. Well, listen, the GOAT listener of this podcast, Ben Narby, he asked, what university degree has the most pretentious students in it? Uh, I think philosophy attracts philosophy, fucking yeah. pretentious dickheads about. Do you Sean? know what the funny thing about philosophy is? It's not the people who are getting like, doing like a Bachelor of Philosophy. It's like the people who are like arts <coughs> undergraduates doing it, who are like yeah. more pretentious. What do you think, Sean? Um, I reckon, I reckon it's my degree, physics. I reckon everyone there just thinks they're the hottest shit. It's the hardest thing in the world. We're all a bunch of retards and it's not that bad. And they just like to hype it up. And I hate all of them. If you're watching though, I, you're one of the good ones. If you found this podcast. What Jackson. job did you get when you graduated, Sean? Donuts. I got donuts, all right? He you gets, work, he gets, you work at Krispy Kreme making donuts with Steph no, Bar. God, I wish. God, I wish I worked with Steph Bar making Krispy Kreme Jackson, donuts. no more name dropping, okay? <laughs> Uh, gender yeah, studies, maybe. Gender studies. Are they pretentious or are they just... Are they just um... They're women. <laughs> um, <laughs> Joe Rafael, the fifth host of this podcast, he asks, uh, what's the best Asian country? Cooper. Uh, um, I think like, have if, if I had to live there, it, I'll, just, I'll probably get shit for this, but maybe Japan or even South Korea. If I, had to, if I had to go there. So it's just, it just seems like there's a lot going on, kind of booming... Uh, yeah, I think I also because it's a little bit more westernized, you could probably fit in a little what bit. What did you say about age of consent? Japan? Pretty low there. What was the age of Japan? Yeah. Age yeah. of consent pretty low. I think, there, I think it? it's thirteen. Uh, more, more on this later. What's the best country, Sean? What do you think? <laughs> this is this is so the best one to visit is Bali, but the best one to live in probably the best country is Bali. Japan. <laughs> no, 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 best Asian country. Best country, country ever. Indonesia. Best country Indonesia. Ever. Indonesia. Fucking idiot. Girl. Oh, man. <laughs> and, then, oh, and then Japan is probably the best one to live in. Japan. <laughs> Japan. Probably. After Darwin, though, I'm not sure if I'd want to join them. I'd feel like I'm a mm. traitor. I mean, yeah, you see it's them around here, so. Hell it's hard. Big mistake, way. Japan. All right, uh, Connor Hughes, the old uh, brother, asks, what is the ideal seat configuration on a train? That is, you know, do you want seats facing oh, that's one a good another, question. congesting places, or do you want, you know, the space in the middle for people to take up? Space in the middle, others? and then the rows, and the rows on the side. The rows? Cooper, what do you think? I think, I think, yeah, I, I, I like the outside rows facing outwards. Obviously, it's not mm-hmm. as efficient at packing people in, but it's better for people standing, actually. You can get more people standing. But, I feel uh, like yeah. it, it depends where the train's going or, like, what it is. As in, yeah, I mean, if, it's, if it's just around the city. Yeah, you want the big aisle. Different teams going far. Um, but if, if it's going far, you want to be able to, like, sit across from your mates and yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you yeah, know, the, the, like, what they have in, like, um, on, like, like, trains in Europe when you're going from trains, it's, like, 2-2. Two, two. So it's like two yeah, facing yeah. each other each side and then yeah, that's like a yeah. booth. booth no, in, booth, in booth. New South Wales, they have it so there's two, two, but you can like flip the um, seating so that you can make them sort of a two and then another two. Uh, uh, so right. I think it depends on the journey, but I think as a rule of thumb, you want more space for people to stand. Yeah. Uh, listen, number 44, Sean, he'll take the next minute to reassure the public and offer medical advice for those affected by COVID-19. Um, so you know what? Um, it depends where you live. Like, if you live in America or anywhere in Europe, probably you're screwed. Um, just be lucky if you don't get it. But um, if you live in a country, if you live in a good country like Australia, um, you're probably going to be fine. Um, you know, just listen to all the rules, keep your distance. Um, don't go. Uh, just just avoid people who you might think have it. Um, that's just that's not. That's, see, I, I'd like to say take this moment as well to say I'm not racist anymore. So let's not let, take this time to racially profile anyone. But, How um, racist were you, Sean, before? Out of ten, um, probably kind of out of ten. Probably, probably I'll give it a seven. I don't that's why you hated the blind side so much because it's got a black protagonist. No, nah, but I watched that in the new. Gave it a one out of ten. And how long ago were you a seven out of ten racist? 
Hundred. Well, what about this? Next. Nicola asks whether serial killers are born or made. I think they're made. I think you, you suffer some sort of abuse. When you, when you yeah. And you probably have some sort of genetic predisposition mentally, but it, it needs to be unlocked through some sort you know, of... It is a good, you know, it is a good, um, a, my good fact for this week. There were so many uh, serial killers in the 60s oh. and 70s. Sorry, in the 70s and 80s, because um, the, the paint was lead-based. And oh, the yeah, lead yeah. was yeah. fucking with people's heads. So, oh, that's interesting. I've heard yeah, that. Yeah. It's like all, like, there's this... There's a good stat. There's this one guy. There's this one dude who lived who invented. He made like four inventions that were so widely accepted by the leaded petrol was one. Yeah, yeah, and who like, you know, at at his time was celebrated as a genius, but has gone down as being like the worst person in human history for inventing all these things, just fucking annihilated people. Yeah, he didn't mean to. Probably didn't know about it. Yeah, Uh, serial killers are raised. Uh, listen, mini game. Oh, this would be a good one. The the fellas try to wrap a leg around their head. Oh, Jesus. All right. All right. I'll take my headset off. Sitting on a pretty awkward chair for that, but put the headset off. Jackson, you've got this, mate. This is your question. Sweeney. Um, oh, Sweeney's doing good. Oh, that's not going to work. That fucking hurts, guy. Yeah, no, I can't even do more than this. That's the best I got. Oh, you, used to, you used to be able to do it, Jackson. Okay. I'll stretch out a little bit. Is that good enough? Everyone missed it. I can't do that. I don't think terrible. so, especially after my 16k walk today. I don't, yeah. think, I don't think that was too good for me. A bit too tight for bandages that. Bandages on my foot. Oh, that's, good. that's good. I you knew I didn't have any shoes for my walk. I did all barefoot. Why? Really? That's pretty weird. Yeah, well, I tried to do so thongs, much. then it cut open my feet with the thongs, so I had to take them off. Um, what a retard. Do not go for yeah, 39 kilometers. Listen, uh, 47, walk. friend of the show, James L. Hindi, a uh, beloved mm. uh, question maker. Do you take your shirt off for a really big shit, Cooper? Yeah, I do. I do. It's, 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 yeah, especially if it's hot, you know, if it's a hot day and you got a really big shit and like you've been on it for a while, it's not out yet, but it's finally coming. You, you, got, you got to take it off. It's coming. I got Jack- Jackson. I, I work um, on a construction site, and the amenities there are quite bad, and they get really hot in there. And I'm wearing like long pants and long shirt, and a hard hat, and gloves and glasses and shit. So yeah, I like to strip it off, mm-hmm. put my shirt in the nice piss puddle, and get sweating. Yeah, I think it's contingent on other factors a bit. Like if it's a hot day, and oh, yeah. you know, how long like, is it taking? If it's taking you long, yeah. like you're gonna be there for the long haul. The shirt. I think you also it's... don't know really in advance whether it's gonna be a massive shit. You kind of just it's not until yeah, you, you know, take it off before. Uh, you can feel. I've only ever taken my own shirt off for diarrhea shits, like real big wet ones. Right, Griffin Triscari, a big uh, show. big sport yeah. maniac. He asks, "What's the most overrated sport?" Hmm. I reckon it's, it's AFLW. Player. Actually, yeah, I've got to go. It's AFLW. People keep pretending AFLW is good quality. Fox Sports News and stuff will do segments on it as if it is the AFL. And I understand it runs in a different season. And I don't mind the AFL running. I don't, the, the AFLW running. And I don't mind the AFLW getting paid sort of more than it generates. That's fine. But where I get annoyed is when people pretend the game where like people only miss kicks or can only kick 20 meters. Like you get results that are literally like 12 points to 15. Uh, people pretending that those are good games. Can I ask you, can ask a quick question? Tony, would you rather yeah. watch AFLW or James Alcott play tennis? Dylan Alcott. Uh, Dylan Alcott. He's Dylan like, Alcott. He's, a, he's good at his sport, right? And his sport has defined rules. You know, it's like uh, women's cricket is excellent because it's, it's two teams who, you know, although the skill level is probably a bit lower, are playing on that skill level. In a way. But AFLW, they need to play on the same level. It's not as good. Let's go next Listen, question. Uh, 49, and just a warning on question 49 to get your hard shots ready for the next uh, for the next question. Get oh, them yeah. going. Oh, uh, what is your favourite streak suffix? A streak <laughs> suffix being, uh, you know, Princess Road, you know, X Highway, oh, Avenue, Street, Way, Drive. What do you like? I like Avenue a lot. I think, I think you know, the... the Avenue is good. Avenue. What do you guys think? I like I think Court cool. or I Loop. I think Loop's quite good. The rare ones. I think people oh, like the rare ones. But imagine court. if every street was called a Loop. You know, would you like it? Yeah. Well, not all streets are loops, though. You know? Yeah. Loops well, circles. circles are pretty cool. Yeah, the rarity. Cool. Is I like cool. hill. I like hill. What are we? Are we more road or street people? I'm, no, street. I'm a street. I'm a street. Yeah. I'm a street guy. I'm a street. Yeah. I'm a street person. I think street has that formality about it that makes you. Respect I feel like if you, if you're a road kind of guy, then you're a virgin. But um, streets like more American. Nothing wrong with oh, ready to go. Or a nerd. Oh no! I can't do a hot. 
shit. I had a normal water <laughs> So he spat it out. I got so close to vomiting. No. <laughs> Hold on, I haven't done mine yet. Oh, oh I don't want to half time score. I should at least finish it. Oh my god. I don't have a bucket this week, so I'm legit <laughs> fucked if I vomit. <laughs> Oh, I got so close to spewing. I got a bag here. Dude, gin is the fucking worst thing to just do shots Yeah, of. gin tastes like flowers. Not in a good way. Gin's so good as a mixer, but it's not good as a shot. Oh, gin nah. sucks overall. Gin sucks like, has anyone shit. ever gone to a bar and asked for a shot of gin? Nah. I just had Kahlua. Kahlua's good, not, though. Kahlua's tasty. Not straight. I'm alright. I think vodka's worse. Right. Vodka's literally just like ethanol and water mixed to the percentage. <sighs> Like nothing special going on about it. It just tastes like ass. All right. Uh, listen, uh, Sean, your questions now, mate. Uh, All right. Um, so you get one free nuke that you get to drop. Where's you have it to going? Drop. You have to drop. This is from Adam Patterson. Um, first of all, I'd like to say I love the country of Japan. They've done a lot since World War Two, but. Um, May as well. Like they copped it Third once. Time. They probably know. They probably know how to cope with yeah. it. Yeah, twice. Better than like putting Hiroshima in Hiroshima and Nagasaki are looking pretty good nowadays. No, but it's probably They're better booming. than putting putting a new country in that situation. Just if you have a new. What about go- Fukushima as well? They've pretty much copped it three times, really. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Maybe, they're they're not, like, I've bought, maybe it's like I've for what they've done. Oh, yeah, that's what they've bad. done to us. Terrible. Take that, the Wuhan clan. Big mistake. You're pretty good at China, just Tehran. The Iranian say, if we're capital. From, if, we're from, if we're from Japan, we'll probably boot bomb America. Like, even, like, today, they're, they're nice and friendly. But no, like, it's a golden mountain. Yeah, but... Oh, well, relevant. The next question we got here is um, from Mark Rothery. What do we think of Japan? Um, so this is a bit topical. Um, I guess we'll start with Cooper. Cooper is a big Japan guy. Look, you know me. I love Japanese culture. I, 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 love, I love anime. I love the songs they make. I love their po- J-pop. I'll their films. If it was up to me, I would actually like to live and grow up as a Japanese student. You know, I really, I really like their culture. Yeah, you know, that that's me. Love Japan. Jackson, you got some thoughts on Japan's and especially uh, some of the numbers behind Japan. Um, Japan's pretty cool. Um, there's. I hear about these numbers. What are 30, these numbers? What are the eight, thirty-seven what's the age million of consent people in Japan? Oh yeah. Uh, cons- consenting for what? The boom. It's boom. up to you, isn't it? That's the one Cooper's always bringing up and why he always wants to live there. Little, he didn't want to say it, but... Cooper, what's the age of consent in Japan? Yeah. Oh, there it is. is that, well, how... Sometimes their bodies are just so right by... The... Okay, next question. <laughs> so, um, so the next one we got from... Um, is what should the weekly challenge loser have to do? Um, I think Sweeney would like to talk about this. Oh, I've got to say, I was pretty underwhelmed by the cinnamon challenge this week. Yeah. I think for yeah, one, you left. You, the... you didn't, yeah. Well, you I didn't spit it all also up. I didn't start I doing it until, table. like, the yeah, challenge yeah. actually, like, we were going into look the Look at that. I was trying to but you cinnamon knew as soon that. as I started talking yeah. that you'd lost. You knew after Cooper had started talking that yeah, you'd lost. Yeah, I appreciate you should have. you should have just... What would you propose for next week, Sweeney? I don't know. Look, the fans should have to... The, the Legion would, would have some ideas. I think the Cinnamon Challenge is conceptually yeah, a good idea. But the execution has to be way better than that. Like it's you a bit have, rushed. As soon as you're announced as a lose, like you know you're going to lose, you need to pour it. And you need to just do it. You did it like 45 seconds in. Um, you didn't put that much on, Sean. Because yeah. look, I was trying to shake it like as hard as I could. You off the thing. And... We let the retards decide the punishment. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so the next question is, scenario, you are past... The orcs cord at a prior at a pivotal moment at an event. I must rapidly choose a song. What do you pick? This is from Connor Hughes. Rapid um, Jackson, Cooper. What is Jackson? Uh, Jackson. Oh, no, yeah, I don't know what Sean said. Um, I would. Uh, oh, okay. No, I get it. Um, good, good kid, question. Mad City. Maybe it's just a classic. Cooper. I don't know it. I think if you if you want to be real safe, um, you'd probably go something like Tainted Love by Soft Cell or like a yeah. Come on Eileen. Not to I say agree. that's the best choice, but everyone Come would get up on about it. Or like um, Dancing in the Moonlight, something like that. If you yeah. really, I've like, got a pretty shit safe. music taste, so I have limited options in terms of what I'd have on my phone if I've got to play the Orcs one. I got like Straight Lines by Silverchair though. I think that's enough people shit. know it. <laughs> it's not good. Uh, I think I didn't get. Caroline, I know that good song one. Perfectly Sweet like Caroline's this. pretty good. Sweet yeah. Caroline. Or like, ain't one. seen nothing yet. Nah. <laughs> the back man. Yeah. Or a bad one. You know, he got an acupuncture before he did that song. <laughs> he can't speak well. 
Um, so riddle me this. What has to be broken before you can use it? Yeah, a um, weekly riddle. What do we got? glow stick? Oh, that works. Ooh, all right. That works. That's is not there the an answer? answer. Or yeah, is there, this, is. I don't, there is. Oh, who knows what the answer? What has to be broken I'll before it can be fixed? <sighs> Sean's got the answer. But is I think both answer? answers are pretty yeah. acceptable. Oh, I and think, I'm, I'm, I think it works. Yeah. Is anyone else got a riddle? Before it can work. What can run but can't walk? Dylan Alcott. Oh, no, you can't do either. <laughs> um, <laughs> Mate, you can't leave this guy alone. <laughs> Poor guy. Um, no one Googled Dylan Alcott. It makes it, it, makes it um, worst mistake of my life. Um, what do you think that Dylan thinks about the water, by the way? I can even he's be supportive like of it. it. Yeah. Depends if he's can't. getting money from it. If ANZ pays him to like it, he'll probably like <laughs> If it. Nike gives him an ad for it. Yeah. <laughs> Dylan no cock. Oh, he probably has a cock. Um, what the next you, question we got here is who built the pyramids? This is from Quill and Comstech. Um, I'll start. Um, I, I, I get what he's alluding to. I assume he's alluding to who a, aliens built it or Egyptians. But um, I actually don't know. I don't know who built the pyramids. Probably Egyptians. Hot button know. topic, Cooper. You'd probably disagree with this, but um, or agree with it, depending on how you look at it. But the Jews built the pyramids. Um, and that's factually actually like probably correct. Well, yeah, no, they slaves. did. They, they, uh, slaves yeah. they were slaves. Well, they've they... controlled everything for so long. It wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> they weren't the architects of the pyramids, presumably. No, nah, they, they were. They, they were the them. slave labor that physically. Oh yeah, well, yeah I guess who enslaved them? The Egyptians, the Pharaoh, mm. the Pharisee. Well, I guess Moses was a slave. I guess that makes sense. Maybe that probably that probably adds up. Yeah, that's cool. that's factually. Jackson, the big fact correct. guy, coming yeah. in with yeah. a Jesus was fact. a Jew. The king um, of the G- So next question we got here is would you rather be born gay or missing a singular hand or foot? Um, this is a tough one. Cooper, I, I think, think, I think being born gay would be like if you're a sexual person. Um, I think being born gay is great because they tend to have sex more than straight people, you know, it seems more accessible. Um but you get so I, I in think high it would be quite good. Mm. Yeah, yeah, you, you might. You might. Probably depends where you go. What type you get of person bullied you, are, by the but you definitely have a higher chance of getting bullied than Cooper in high school. Look, I didn't you, wait, we bullied you not because you're gay, it's because you're fucking dumb. That's why we bullied you, Jackson. Okay. <laughs> you bullied uh, me because I couldn't rip well? That's yeah, and you were sexually impotent. Very good. Sweeney? I, um I don't know. It depends what being born gay means, I think. Um Sweeney, are you born gay? But if you're born gay, does that mean you come out of the womb just craving some big cock? Or oh, does that just yeah, mean you're think, predisposed think you're to being gay? gay. You, you say, God, I wish I came out of a dick. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, top yeah, three. No. You walk out and you go, oh, what the fuck's that? Yeah. Um, so that yeah. question was from Ben Nabi just before. Want to go um, shopping? The next question here is, I actually forgot who this was from. I put this in here. Um, who are we neck nominating? I vote Sweeney because he started the shit trend. But Yeah, you're getting neck nominated, Sweeney. Um, Jackson, do you just... I'd like to neck nominate... Um, you got to skull your beer, Sweeney. Rain Bianchini. So, look, I want to neck nominate one of the viewers, Adam Patterson. You know, he's a loyal, loyal follower of the show. Uh, I'd love to see Adam Patterson just, you know... He's still lost. That's one Adam Patterson, one Rain Bean King, two Sweeney. So you got to drink. You get the rest of the minute to drink your beer. My beer's literally... This was the last shot of it. Let's get another beer. Open up. All right. You've been neck Quickly, go. Quickly, quickly. I can't do it this minute. I will. I will. No, you you got to do it now. No, no. I'll do this next shot. I'll do this next shot. Have a break. So next shot will be this. And then the shot after that, I'll just scull this beer. All right? That would be awesome. That would be pretty awesome. The look on your face will be unbelievable. Be crazy. Yeah. I still well, do neck nominate Adam Patterson. So next question from Griffin Tuscari. I don't know why no one put his last name in here. Is um, what fa- what's the worst fast food? Um, Jackson, you, what, what about what do you think? Um, chicken treat. Oh, oh man, the chicken that's... treat card. Sean <laughs> gets free. Sean gets free no, chicken shit. treat quickly. Really? <laughs> oh, honestly, hundred percent. No, worst Russo, fast food. Actually. Worst fast food is a Porto. No question oh, about it. Absolutely. Yeah, like yeah, 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 but only heard, no one really knows food. what it is. Hungry Jacks is the worst main one. Nah. No. See, when you... Hungry when you Jacks rank, pretty fine. Jacks sucks. Dude, no, a see, Porto fucking sucks. A Porto's no, 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 number no. does suck. No, yeah. see, when you rank it, it's just a bad Nando's. But when you rank Nando's in front of, like, Chicken Treat and Red Rooster, it probably Nando's shits on Nando's sucks, too. Even though I know it's a different style of chicken. Man, I could tell you quickly the best fast food. The fast food for your mind is Alpha Brain. You know, that's filled with with all these things like... Phosphatilitocerine. Uh, it's excellent, you know. 
Can you say what, what, what else? Um, so this one, this one's a big question for Sweeney, I believe, and Cooper actually. What's your favourite disabled athlete? Mate, I can't be Nick nominated. This is too hard. Mine's mine's uh, Nick later. Newman. Who's yours, Sweeney? Your favourite disabled athlete? Uh, Dylan Alcott. He's really good. Ah, I think last Actually, episode would no, ref- honestly, not reflect that. No, my, on, my honest answer is Oscar Pistorius. That guy's a legend. I was going to say Oscar Pistorius. You just, you just like him because he hates women. No, yeah. he doesn't hate women. You he both, just hates his both, wife. Dude, you know? he would hate the oh, AFLW yeah. just like you. <laughs> yeah. He's got you too. too, too yeah. Imagine that guy playing not. AFL. Do you reckon he could kick a straight kick with his blades on? <laughs> nah, I don't think he could. He'd be shaking it. Muhammad Ali, technically a disabled athlete. He's got that is the most oh, racist thing I've ever at, look, heard. Try, that is so try, racist. No, try, try to listen to him sure. talk now. First you, you can't first read or you, talk. You see, he yeah, that's Parkinson's well. disease. You got that after boxing. Uh, first you, you, first you bag boxing. out the bad guy in the blind side. Oh, um, so next person to ask a question is Jack. So when you sell your beer. Um, okay, oh, fellas. Uh, if you could visit the past for a week, when and where would you go? Yes, that one's from uh, uh, James Pacino. You better not say El Hindi, Jesus. James, James Hindi. Where would we go, fellas? I would go back to the moment before James Pacino's parents had sex and I would kill them both so he was never made. <laughs> you know, this isn't James El Hindi. This That's is a popular Pacino. answer. Yeah, f- fucking Thank- take that, James Pacino. You can take okay. that one too, mate. Okay. He has um, some good questions, though, James Pacino. Shout I wonder if it's just related. He won the Dude Hold My Beer Award last week. Oh, did, did he? he? What was yeah. his question? Better, was his question, why am I such a big fucker? No, the question. <laughs> um, why don't I kill myself? I said, oh, jog- it was about don't jogging on the spot at a red light. Oh, that wasn't, no, that wasn't it, was it? Wasn't it? No, the, I think that was it. shits pushed the fight out of... Listen, uh, if you could visit the but palace for a week, Sean, where are you going? Oh, oh we're, we're dumb. <laughs> uh, Cooper wishes happy birthday to someone special. Cooper, I hear you. Yeah. Uh, special members of the Legion. I'd like to say happy birthday to um, all the Legionnaires uh, who've been watching the podcast in the past week, or not even the past week, today, whenever. I just, I just really care about the fans. Name uh, them. I hope they're doing well. Shout out. Name one of them. Uh, who had birthdays this week? Look, I don't think I said happy birthday to any of you personally, but remembering from my uh, Facebook notifications, who have we got? We got uh, Liv Grace, Will Welsh. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Laura Hicks. Who happy else was birthday. there? Was it Actually, Megan no. Ma- <laughs> um, who are, who's the other birthdays were there? I don't know. Um, I don't think any of them watched the podcast. Bree Spencer. Though. So fuck them. Not happy birthday to any of them. Fuck them. Oh, happy birthday. Oh, Liv Grace might have. Liv Grace might have clicked on it, but if you, if nah, you she's turning her back birthday, on the action. She's not. Watching have... Guilty or innocent? Dylan Costanza. For is that, that the one. is that the Claremont serial killer guy? Yeah, I think yeah, so. I know oh, this. He's passionate about this. I know this real weird guy who runs a Facebook page about the Claremont serial killer, and yeah, he gets into all kinds of weird details on it. It's quite what, graphic. Did it happen or not? Oh no, nah, he's definitely guilty. He's a main suspect. Oh. I think. Oh. I think Dylan Boddick is the Claremont serial killer. Mm. You know, I yeah. probably. probably you know, my... He would have got away with it though if he buried all of his victims. victims. Uh, in head King's down Park. in Kings Park, mm. <laughs> yeah. and then uh, and then was the best lawyer in Perth. You know? Yeah, yeah. Would've, he would have scraped a He would have nailed that. I reckon. You know, my mum thinks that she was almost abducted by the Claremont serial killer. Yeah, you've told me this story. Gee, I yeah. wish that happened. Holy fuck! We yeah. get a good host as the. Fourth. Then we'd have a better fucking host than this yeah. dickhead. We have James Pacino oh, instead grim. of you. What? Pick it up by the Telstra car. James, was she? James Pacino asking about people choking on the spot. Oh, that's ding big. ding ding. It's a big ding, and I'll go fuck myself. Uh, the next question? Okay. Um, who is the biggest simp from Jack Elgar? Out of us four? I guess so. Probably Sean. Definitely Sean. I don't think yeah. so. Wait, what's a simp again? That's someone, that's someone who just... Hey, you're a simp. Look at you. You're a simp and a plum. I don't think so. I don't know what that means, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say no, and I'm going to go ahead and say um, Jackson is the biggest simp. Jackson was a pretty big simp. Yeah, back yeah, in back in was. high school. Hey, what's a simp? So it's just a guy, like a person who's like overly a nice, girl, just, like, but in the hope for sexual advantage. Hey, you're a simp. Uh, Sean. Yeah, Sean's a simp. Sean's the biggest simp here. Like, oh. Sean hasn't got a girlfriend, which is simp mm. energy. We all have girlfriends. That's a good yeah. point. That's a great point. I guess. Yeah, I guess. I guess I lose there. Then. Jackson, tell us about how much you love your girlfriend right now. Um, she's awesome. Uh, she's 
really smart and That's funny. a silent ding, by the way. That's the ding. That's the ding. That's the ding. That's the phantom ding. Um, what can Penn Golans do after the coronavirus to improve their image? What are you oh, that's, from right right, that's a good. That's actually a good question. Um, they should do an apology first. Yeah, I was about to say, um, yeah. They that's should donate apology. to like a charity. And then they should go on like a goofy kind of show, like dancing, like celebrity dancing with the stars to slowly rebuild their image. And like, oh, look, I'm just a regular person. I make mistakes. And eventually they um, infiltrate, um, you know, that scene. And then it's fine, you know, like any, Charlie any, Sheen. Any pangolin that wants to apologize can come on this show. We have a segment where we do apologies for whatever the misdeeds have done for the past mm-hmm. month. Sweeney, um, are you a pangaloid? <laughs> no, no, I'm not. I'm not big on pangolins, right? You're a pangaloid, um, mate. Look at you. Not quite. Not what quite. is a pangaloid? Pangolin. pangolin. Pangolin is the is the fucking armadillo looking motherfucker. Start, and this is the seventh time we've covered it on the podcast. <laughs> started started coronavirus. Sounds like <laughs> penguin, which is pretty awesome. Um, fellas, what? Uh, what are your Hunger Games tactics from Richard Cameron? Cheers, Richo. Um, Sean, I know yours would be hide in a bush. Yeah. Mm, that yeah. is very racist, that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you meant it that way, but you know, no, I know Sean. Sean, I know yours would actually be hiding the mud. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> that's a fair point. Yeah. Mine, I'm gonna have to go and say mud. I think Probably. my strategy, <laughs> my strategy would just be to kill all the other participants. Um, oh, yeah. And I feel like. I've I've never, I don't know what Hunger Games is. I've never watched it. I assume it's like Fortnite, but with actual people. Fortnite, but with Jennifer oh, Lawrence. Hunger Games, the and, original um, Fortnite. And yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what it was, isn't it? I think that is actually unironically sort of Because it started with the Minecraft the game, things. and then yeah. it went off into... But woman, but woman never win Battle Royales. Next question. Mm. <laughs> Best form of pasta from Xavier Mitchell. Um, what do you all reckon? Spirals. Oh, I, like spirals. I like spirals. I like spirals um, too. Yeah, I don't know. I like. I, I, I think. Um, oh, I forget. I forget the names of them. Spaghetti. L- I think is linguini. Linguini is the best for like fancy stuff. Um, but I like spirals for like pasta salad. I would like gnocchi. Actually, yeah. Uh, gnocchi. I don't Because like gnocchi, you get the benefit of the pasta sauce you've got associated, which you get with any other pasta. But then there's also that. You know, it depends what you're putting uh, in the gnocchi, but the uh, potato stuff typically are. Uh, gnocchi is potato. It's not. Yeah, like, gnocchi's made out of potato. There's You're different types idiot. of gnocchi, I think. Yeah, but most gnocchi is made out of potato. Are, you? You're a fucking idiot. Well, yeah. come on. I reckon. Well, um, I like uh, rigatoni. rigatoni. What's that? Rigatoni. It's like penne. No, I don't know. It's oh, penne's like the, whole, the circular the, one. The yeah, it's like that. But oh, actually, yeah, penne's my favourite. Oh no! You I know, forgot oh, the name I like, of it. You've oh, got it. What? Yeah, no penne. No, what's the um ravioli? Ravioli is good. Ravioli, ravioli. Yeah, ravioli is good. What's your least favorite? I hate the bow tie ones. They fucking suck. All the curl ones, the one with like the um, the like the ones that are, like like have that hollow in them, and they always like they, they suck too. Can you miss pig impersonation, Cooper? Fellas, unfortunately, we missed a ding because of Sean. Okay, we... So uh, yeah, yeah. Listen, uh, what's the best race in Skyrim? Pretty quickly. Uh, I like I like Nords, you know. Let's keep it simple. Skyrim belongs to the Nords. Dark Elves, we got to, they we get got more to... magica. Sean looks like yeah. One. They start with good destructive magic stat. Um, what's the worst race? I hate the um lizard people. Yeah, lizard people. Suck. Reminds me of um a certain race in our real life. Uh, Swinny. Um, I don't know. They're the Ang- the Argonians. Okay, Angeloid. Motherfucker. Yeah, no, they yeah, suck. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're that's annoying. Fair. No, they're, oh, right, they're that's stacked. a ding. That's a ding as well. Number sixty-eight. Yeah. Uh, Cooper uh, role plays an Uber driver. Am I the no I'm talking to an Uber right? driver? Uh, Sean, okay, you, okay. you can be the Uber driver. Uh, okay, Cooper, that's racist. Okay, talking. I get in. Absolutely. Hey man, how's your night going? Yeah, not too bad. Have you heard about this new coronavirus thing going around? Yeah, man, it's crazy. I don't know how's it, how, how's it affected your work. You got many people oh, tonight, or oh, very bad, very bad, no, very bad. Oh, yeah, very bad. Does that mean you're getting less money? You have to wait around for yeah, for yeah, of course. Long wait time, little money, not good combo. Yeah, that's that's not good. That's not good at all. No, oh, where where are you from? Um, Afghanistan. Oh, oh Afghanistan, sweet. Um, I really always wanted to go there. What were you doing uh, over there? Were you Uber driver over there, or no, no Uber there. What, what were you doing over there? Um, accountant. 
Accountant, wow. Yeah. Have you ever thought about pursuing that over here? Or? No. Not as good. That was riveting stuff. Um, <laughs> lost the question, I'll admit it. Would you rather fuck your partner? Your partner? Your, your partner parents in your parents' body. body. Or your parent in your partner's body. That's a oh, classic hypothetical that, question. That comes from Will Berthelow. I think the, the honest, like, like if you want to be the better person, it's it's your partner in your parent's body, but then you'll be more... It's like, would you rather Inevitably. cycle... Eat, would you rather like psychologically traumatize yourself or your mum? That's kind I honestly of- think functionally you could almost not do that though. Like I think if uh, Sweeney's got it easy because I'd fuck Sweeney's mum anyway. Oh come! On. <laughs> I think you'd struggle to like fuck your mum. I wouldn't struggle to fuck your mum at all. Or your body, yeah. like I think you'd you'd have yeah, to bat your partner's that body. Part. You'd have to bat your partner's body there. No, nah, but then your mum's talking to you like, oh, nice dick, son. No, I, but I think. I think they'd get There's it. no way. They, they'd just uh, not talk. Well, yeah. you're you're like get they'd just... They would get it. They'd get it, get it. reckon I'm Sweeney. Ah, uh, shit. Okay, next question. Should tra- transgender men be allowed to pick the size of their penis? Oh. So, like, the thing is, it's like, they, they come in, they, you know, they, they become male, which is fine, but, like, should they just be allowed to, you know, pick 10 inches right off the bat? And just putting like, I reckon they got to roll the dice. Yeah, no, that's a I great, that's that's a great, great way, that's way of putting it. That's, that's a fair. great it way of putting it. Or they yeah. just get the automatic average of four inches. I mean, a die shouldn't be like, you get one, you get one inch, but it should be, you know, it should look at average. Yeah, it should, it should go as like it's a lottery, the average four lottery system. Yeah, 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 it should. They should just get, <laughs> they, they, they can know what they do. Jesus, they can choose an average four inches or they can roll the dice. Nah, I don't give them the option of an average. Yeah. Will we give why, them the option of an average? I wish I was. Actually, no, I don't. I'm glad. Well, why would you want to be a dongoloid? It is partially unfair. I think this is actually a fantastic question. I don't think I should. You shouldn't get to choose. You shouldn't um, get to choose. Who picks then? How do you determine it? it whoever is the choose. last transgender woman, I suppose, I think it would be a good way of doing it, who loses their dick, whatever their size oh, is. Oh, that's, that's good. a great point, that's Yeah, yeah. Okay, next question. What do you think of abstract expressions of art? This goes out to our Connie Wilkes. Shout um, out to Connie Wilkes. Wilkins. Wait, how do you say her last name? Sorry, Wilkins? I don't know. Uh, listen, we're Wilkins, talking about Wilkins, Jackson Wilkins, Pollock sort of stuff, like you know, That's just blotches name. on the canvas. What do we think of that sort of stuff? Though? I don't oh. think it's cool, but I like oh, it's whatever you're into, really. I think there's like, cool. I think there's like, it's it's weird because sometimes there's a weird cross section between like minimalism and abstract art. And I don't mind minimalism, but like, I think it's when it's like trying to be too abstract that annoys me. No, yeah, no, rather so- than just like. Yeah. So I think what's terrible is minimalism mixed with abstract, which is literally just one blotch of paint yeah. somewhere on the canvas. And it's like, look at this art. But it's like Jackson Pollock, even though it's weird splotches, they're like ordered in a way such that like it is actually aesthetically pretty pleasing. Mm. But I think it's all right. But I'm... Yeah. It's been like crisscrossing, but I'm not a fan. You know? Oh. Oh. Sean does abstract on the sheets. Um, next, uh, you have to remove... You have to remove one po- Ooh, uh, host of the podcast. Who do you pick? Adam Patterson. Wait, wait, let's start one by one. Sweeney, who do you choose? Sorry, but it's got to be Jackson for me. I would, I would, sure. personally, I would personally go Sweeney. It would, this podcast would devolve into shit without Sweeney, to be very honest. And I'll be good but, So you would choose him to leave? Yeah. Okay, Jackson? Um, I don't know. This is a new <laughs> question. Someone he's loyal. He's loyal. Pick someone. Just Listen, pick no one's gonna leave. This is the four that's taken us the to a hundred episodes. Um, if you had to, Sean to said it, so I'm gonna say Sweeney. Yeah, and see, stick into the I, format I, too hard. I don't. I don't want to mm. jump on. I don't want to. I, I don't want to gang up on him. Quick, but quick. You know what? I think Sweeney. <laughs> you know, yeah. only one of us has got Zoom <laughs> premium account. <laughs> only one of us has got Zoom <laughs> premium, <laughs> fellas. Okay, next next question. Are uh, the fellas count to I'm ten? We do this each week. Okay, let's start one. One. Two, oh, one. Why <laughs> not? Got to exercise restraint is the best exercise. Yeah. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Eight. No! <laughs> one. 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 Two. <sighs> Three. Four. No, I said two. We're going to go back to one. Oh, no. One. 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 <laughs> one. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Eight. Oh, 
Oh, it's pretty dollars. good. That's pretty good though. One. One. That's our record. That's our record. Yeah, we've got a record. That's that's record. Um, next question. <laughs> what is the sexiest non-mammal? Oliver Cummins. Oh, Do you really know question. what that means? Does that mean like, oh shit. Like what lizard? animal is the sexiest? It's not a mammal. Um, is it cat a cat Loaded mammal? question. Yeah. yeah. Cats are quite <laughs> attractive. Not you know, a mammal? A ma- like, are you talking about like lizards, like aquatic animals, stuff like that? Um, uh, no, dol- you probably could do like a dolphin, or you could just probably. I dolphin, think dolphin, dolphin, dolphin's a mammal. I think a dolphin's like a mammal. Are dolphins are mammals. Know, you know, mammals. Nah, I think they're they dolphins. I think they're dolphins are mammals. No, pods. Ah. No, fish. No, fish are mammals. Mammals. mammals have to have hair, and they have to. Are dolphins mammals? First sentence. Like every mammal, dolphins are warm-blooded. You could. You could just use like warm blood. We're talking about lizards and stuff, you know. Dolphins um, can't be mammals. They have. Man, look they're, they're, they're a subsect of mammals. Uh, we, this is this is off the point. Let's, let's pick some. Let's get some names. Uh, uh, right, yeah. Next <laughs> question. <laughs> Should the NFL scrap protective padding and helmets? What do you think about Sweeney? You're a sports uh, guy. Yeah, I think they should. I think it actually think amplifies the problem as opposed it does. to fixes it. It does. Uh, yeah. I think the more force you have behind you. And the more like potential reverb, which a helmet can do, will will actually cause more damage in the long run. I think rugby players the, are actually far better off than NFL players. One of one of the thing, one of the main things is with it is like you watch a rugby player tackle; they're always going low. They're like getting around the hips, whereas like a lot of the NFL players, they're literally just like colliding into each other. So there's a lot of head to head um, clashes or like head to arm or shot head to a shoulder, lot of head. which is very bad. A lot of head all round. Um, I think the NFL should be scrapped. It's it's boring. It's not very good. It's nah, Americans love it. it. Makes too much money. I think it makes more money than any other major American sporting. Yeah, because I ridiculous heard... to think about, which is actually yeah. so dumb because it's by far the worst of the big it do, sports. It does like, baseball is like, worse. Apparently, like basketball is viewed way more, but apparently somehow the NFL generates more money. Like, and I know, I know, NFL basketball. Oh shit! Next question. Um, should we say nup to the Melbourne Cup? What do you think? I. Oh. Oh, that's a two. That's a political one. I, I probably would. Why not? No one watches it anyway. Who actually cares? It's the race that stops the nation, mate. Yeah, but if it I gets me I, an hour of work once a year. Fuck the Sean, horses. Sean's a racist, but he doesn't stop the nation. Hey, at, least, at least, at least, hey, you guys obviously haven't seen Star Wars: The Last Jedi about the animal cruelty part in that because it yeah, never did really click with you. It clicked with me. I want all horses. Wasn't that your favorite before. scene in all the Star Wars movies ever, where they? the casino one yeah you know really re- are you really... are you a pescatarian now sean yeah so i'm a pescatarian. why are fish allowed to die but um other animals are see i actually aren't didn't realize that and i actually don't actually no i do care about the fish um it's because fish don't have nerves so they can't actually feel anything so have have nerves, nerves. does that mean does that mean fish their lives should be taken sure. from them because they can't feel it crustaceans yes. don't so if fish I pump, some plants do have nerves of heroin and kill you and you die and you don't feel it, it's okay okay next question you got owned um, a federal countries, i.e., a federal countries, i.e., have states or you, or unitary countries, no states better. It's so like New Zealand or like federal countries like Australia and America. Oh, you got to back better. Australia. Well, we, well, the way I think you just for New Zealand, it. unitary, like unitary, like unitary government works better because it's quite small, like population of six, six million. Yes. So it works for them, but it doesn't. It wouldn't work for like a, a America. It definitely wouldn't work for America. Seems so to work in China. China. What seems to work? Yeah, in but China. that's because yeah, but they're quite authoritarian, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, really? That's, if you, if you're willing to lay down the law, Unitarian. Is China has so much land. China's such a big country. He has that little island just off China and the uh, little Taiwan. Oh, that's a part yeah. of China. We don't talk about that. We just that's just a part of mainland China. What about Tibet? That's also I, yeah. I think it depends I, I think on size. Legally months. part of mainland China. I think depending on size, China. China's worth fine. Okay, next. This is a good question. This. Um, does losing a testicle mean you're fifty percent less likely to get testicular cancer? Yes. I don't. I don't think it. I don't think so. But yeah, it's an interesting no, it does. Thought. It does. Does because, it? Because because out of all your testicles, testicular cancer encompasses all your testicles. So if you lose half your testicles, there's a less chance of one of them, one of those cells, will mutate and form a cancer. So you lose half the chance. Yeah. You won't, you're more, not less likely to get cancer, but you're less likely to get testicular cancer. I'd just say, going back, maybe then I would give up fifth, one-on-one yeah. testicles for a, a vaccine. Yeah. A then why, if you're susceptible to like testicular cancer, why wouldn't they just cut one out then? Oh, yeah. Well, well, it, guess, it doesn't grow in one. It's sort it of, if you are 50% less likely, then you would happily cut one out. But yeah. if you're just as likely... 
Yeah, but if yeah, no, you're saying it, but no one really knows. So that's all just the thing with only having no, one I'm, ball. It won't feel as good it. when when someone like kicks it or punches it. You know, like with cock and balls. Yeah. Next question: uh, based or cringe? What's based? That's from Jack Alga, by the way. Shit what do we question. think? No, you know, you know, you know the comment like when someone posts based or cringe. Um, I don't know I mean, what that means. You lead off with that. So, oh, so pretty much cringe is saying the same. Oh, I feel like based. Posting. I feel like based is a bit outdated. I think based was pretty based good. Based is a little like bit 20, outdated. 2014 to seventeen. Yeah, cringe, cringe think, is still working. Cringe is still cringe, prevalent. Cringe is. I think cringe is like primarily a term used on the internet, and most terms that are just primarily internet based have disappeared and do based. disappear. Cringe, cringe has been around for ages. Into the modern vocabulary in yeah. such a seamless way. Word. So, so cringe. Is, no, because like no, like cringe is, compilations. That like that came from that like like internet subculture. But now everyone's seen like an internet like cringe compilation of some kind. You know, I've it's quite big. Of I, I think I think I think like if it means like what terms better, I would say or like what's been like more effective. Cringe is definitely a better term. Do I mean the same thing? Uh, no. Listen, based, uh, but, would you rather? Win a fight against a WWE fighter or lose a fight against an MMA fighter. Oh, that that's, I think it would be good. I, I think it would be good to oh, just get the hard. shit beaten out of you by a professional it's fighter hard. Wait, in front of 60,000 people. Let's see what Jackson has Jackson, to say. That's hard. Jackson, that's that's hard. hard. All right. What's your answer? Think about how awesome it would be if you won a WWE fight. Like you'd be like the yeah. best appearance. Of course. Like, oh, oh, yeah. So what? Yeah, what would, you, would, would you rather lose an but MMA? Losing an MMA sh- fight. Losing an MMA fight. You're getting minimum sixty grand. Minimum. Yeah, no, you get no, you get no, no, You're getting way less, mate. No one MMA's got no money in it, but it's got nothing to do with that, right? It's would you rather get the shit beaten out of you by a professional fighter who will hurt you, or win a fake fight where you'll get all the glory and money? It's not a question. But you get like sixty grand. You get more believe. money. You be more. You get more money winning a WWE fight. This you is reckon? the worst question ever asked. <laughs> it makes no sense. It's, it's literally just like, would you rather win one. something or right, next question, next question, pro- beaten up by a professional? Listen, person. if there is a the goal, up, okay. I like there that one. is a god. Do you reckon he'd be happy with how things are going? Um, yeah, I reckon he. Pro- if, if he, I reckon he would be because he obviously, or if there is really god, he, he sent the play, the whole thing. So yeah, he would have sent it for his own it's thing. The, uh, what do they call it? It's He's the, pretty uh, chuffed with how it's going. Right? It's, it's a swarm. What are they call it? The, the, the locusts. The locusts. Yeah. Locust. Locust Jackson, do you think God would be happy with how it's all going? Uh, he has to be happy. It's, it's his creation. Everything is. Yeah, he did it. He must. He must God's real. He's done it. everything. The so thing is, though, done. God, God was Sweetie, having the you... Garden of Eden until it got too bad. That's when. Did he... you see that is, the the Israeli like health minister got in trouble? Because I don't know exactly what happened, but he like suggested that um that like God made punishing... the coronavirus yeah. to get back at the gays or something. And then he got yeah, that's it. A classic take. And then he got oh, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What an <laughs> idiot. Yeah. So he came out as gay. He's so then he's gay. Out. He's indirectly gay. Do people who are born deaf think? Uh, in words, or do they think in sign language? Who is this Dawn. one? This was someone, wasn't it? Um, Jess Tropicola, I think. I would, I would say they probably can't think because if their brain can't comprehend sound, then it probably can't comprehend like their own thoughts. I think, I think, as people who can hear, we um we probably think that thinking is more got to do with like Auditory. language than it probably does. Yeah. Like, I don't think like when you're thinking, especially like a subconscious level, it's, it hasn't really got that much to do with, um, with words. I think it's, you know what I think is interesting. You abstract, know, like the voice yeah. in your head that you hear when you read and stuff where it's like, kill yourself, kill yourself. Yeah. I have that. <laughs> or it's like, why don't you well, tell with that, out? Why, do you, why are you putting, pushing it down? Do you have whether, whether you're whispering or yelling in that voice, it's always the exact same volume and you can't change it. Whose voice is it in your head, Jackson? Mine. Next question. It's an 84. It's a mini game. Who can uh, say the word penis the loudest? This is a classic schoolyard game. I'll start. Uh... What was that? Penis. 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 <laughs> no. no, no. Uh, penis. I feel like. Sean just won. So I think one. Jackson was more clear. Yes! <laughs> yeah, I don't think anyone's going to beat that. Do it louder, Sean. We couldn't hear it. <laughs> Sean, go Super Saiyan. <laughs> 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 
All right, uh, question 85. Uh, how often do you apply deodorant? Cooper? Oh, look, I'll be honest. During quarantine, I'm not really going out and seeing anyone, so not much at all. I th- I'm having showers still, but um, I, don't, I don't think, I don't believe like deodorant actually makes you cleaner. I think it just kind of uh, puts it's off an- the, the smell of, de- uh, of BO. I still use it, but like once, once, once every two, once every day, once every two days. Cooper, you look like Keemstar. Okay. Doesn't, isn't that the point of it? <laughs> I'm fast as fuck, boy. <laughs> no, nah, deodorant's antiperspirant. It stops you from sweating and it stops you from smelling like a lot. Like, oh, wait, everyone, right? Alex is. Alex is what? Alexis. Oh, wait, Alexis. 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 You fucking shut up. What? I bet you go take your shirt off and do a shit. All right, uh, Jackson. <laughs> Big Chungus or Ugandan Knuckles? Oh, oh that's a good oh, question. Chungus is awesome. It's going to have to be Chungus. Chungus yes, is sick, go. man. Do you know what, though? I think the, the Ugandan Knuckles is kind of like the prototype of Big Chungus in a way, but you got to go with Big Chungus. Sean, what do you think? Um, yeah, Big Chung, this is a classic. He's a classic. He's stuck around longer. Um, Ugandan Knuckles is a bit of a fad, a bit of a shit meme someone put out on um, one of those VR games, I think. Um, but, but when you, <coughs> you, know, when you think about it, they're kind of similar, you know? They're kind of like an alteration of an original character. I think they very, are. I, think, yeah, yeah, I guess so, but I think they came out at a similar time. That's why people associate them with each other. I don't think... No, they didn't. I think no, Big Chung no, was... A... It was both like late 2018? Was it? Nah, Big Chungus was a fair, fair bit after. Early 2018? Uh, Ugandan Knuckles. Ugandan Knuckles was way earlier. What do you think? Thought... Listen, uh, mini game, the next one. Who can turn their hat around such that it's facing forward without interrupting their headphones the most? I think I can. Oh, uh, no, I can't do that. You haven't got bars here, so any of them. Oh, yeah, no, uh, I can lift that through there. <laughs> No, you can't touch can't, your headphones. No, he's, he's moved his headphones. Jack. You can't yeah. touch your headphones. That's all. Yeah, no, I can't. <laughs> you always put your hat on the right way. You will have shit headphones if you can. Oh, we put a hat the right way. I feel like I've made a pretty good effort there. Um, Mini game. <laughs> this will curse for some reason. Mini game. Try honest. not to be a fuckhead. Sweeney, you lost. Hey, yeah, this not, is the, the front-facing hat podcast now. Sweeney's headphones look like fake, like like Indonesian version fake beats. Of headphones. Yeah, they yeah, legit. They do. They're, they're straight <laughs> out. Of, these straight are legit out of fucking... beats, fellas. <laughs> well, they probably are. Well, I don't know. Straight out of band. Uh, listen up. Uh, who is most likely to be a sex offender? Jackson, Sweeney. the expert. <laughs> Sweeney, that's you, mate. And especially, we'll see later in the podcast. I don't want to. I don't want to mention any incidents. Don't spoil but... the podcast, but I we'll think that was me. Jackson. What do you got, Jackson? Um, yeah, oh, honestly, probably Cooper. Sorry, Cooper. But I think uh, with the question, it's like, it's like who is or who already is, you know, or like who will be. And I think, I think, uh, you I already, already are in Sweeney. Mate, you're trying be. to make weird just about oh, who is, who will be, who question's pretty fucking simple. Who's well, most in, Japan, be a sex in, J- in Japan, it's not an offense. So over you know, here it might be, Japan. but yeah, but that's. <laughs> Well, I'm Who's there. sex and why is Cooper offending them? Mm, I think that's the bigger one. This is from Xavier Mitchell, by the way. Really, got these the- libtards can't take yeah, a joke. Yeah. Xavier Mitchell had some crazy, some crazy questions. I had to, I had to a couple. Did you? He's a real crazy guy. Yeah, no, no, he, really. name four. He's, he's, he always has sexual questions. That Xavier guy. Uh, which household features the most domestic abuse? Listen, we all know the answer to this. Uh, Sean. What do you got? Ooh, all right. Um, <laughs> um, that's not my question. Oh, that's yeah, not my I'll answer. Probably, it's more. I'll probably, what I'll, probably I'll probably say um, Cooper. Um, if if we have a pre-show of the podcast, I think I might have been recording a bit before. Then we'll hear some of those hot um, topics that his family's going through. But we'll, yeah. well, I don't know. Define abuse because I feel yeah. Like do you mean psychological like arguments or, yeah, like arguments or physical? Like, no, 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 physical arguments. It's like Listen, facts I'll and get, logic and stuff. I get physical with my family, but it, it's... You it's, push your mum into cupboards, don't, don't you? Nah, I don't do that. That's, oh. that's some... 
<laughs> Only oh, when I needed my lucky. washing done, I push her into a cupboard. Fucking Cooper, I think up. I think you lost the red. <laughs> yeah, no, I got I got the orange back. I got the you orange. Push, yeah, no, push, I gotta say the answer's Cooper. Brother. The answer's Cooper. Into the closet. Listen, uh, next is a mini game. Jackson, your Rubik's cube. Let's go. I lost it. Okay, you gotta no, visually I, I explain it. I can't find it, but I'd like to take this time um, to ask Sweeney. Oh, he's gone. Sweeney, it was short. Jackson, you have to do 40 seconds of your stand up routine starting now. I don't have a stand up routine. Jackson, you've got to do something. Fill the time. No, go, go. Do a stand up routine. You're on stage on a mic. Everyone's looking at you. Go. Um, <sighs> Goo. Tell a time, joke. Last time I did a shit in my pants. Um, Nice joke, funny diarrhea retard. Oh, you can tell a joke then. Come on. Fuck you, I'm not the comedian. Hey, you're, the one no, no, so I was you're the one up on stage. Your mini game segment. So I, was, I was talking to this girl on TikTok and she was 15 and she was, she was all right. And I've been talking to her a bit and uh, it turns up. out she's an FBI agent. What is the best cum receptacle? receptacle? I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. I'm going to look up what receptacle. I think this is probably one of right, the real low questions. moment of the podcast here. <laughs> it's a pretty We're, good career move. Um, a a hollow leaves for two minutes. Oh, from... okay. So it's like it's like a cum sock, like a receptacle is a hollow. Oh, okay. Um, a box, a uh, shoe box. Shoe box. Um, um I'll bring a. It's <laughs> cum. I'll probably go your underpants, right? That's probably the best. I can, no, actually, no, I changed my cum underpants. I can, I can your mother, Sean. Um, see, the thing about you is that you would know that your mum's a way bigger cum slut than mine's ever been. Your mum's like a sponge. So, semen? your mum's like the cum reserve. Like, you know, we have the reserve bank. They store all the money and shit. Your mum's like the cum reserve. If anyone ever needs... Your mum's a cum bank just stored into one your human mom, being your somehow. Your mum stores cum. Your mum uh, genetically, genetically evolved to store cum in certain places. Um, so the next question we got here is, should Corey Worthington have taken his sunglasses off when he said sorry? Um, Jackson, what do you think? I'd just like to take this time to ask Sweeney, why the fuck did you pick me to get rid of as the host? <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Bringing up old yeah, shit there. So, so Corey Worthington, I think... That's I think our answer that interview- to the question. With that interview, it was a pivotal moment. It was like, what was he going to fold? What was he saying sorry was he, for? Was he going to say sorry? Was Thank he going to was he going to bend? The, was he going to bend the That's knee the to thing. Channel Seven? And he didn't. He was like, I'm not taking him off. I respect Corey. He, he did say, have taken he his said, off. "I'll say sorry, but I'm not going to." But I'm not taking my sunglasses. Off. It was it was it was a but key power sorry. move. It was a power move. What did he say sorry for? Having like the party, the party he hosted, making a ruckus in his neighborhood. When? Yeah, he he. Like Have 10, you not heard of this? 10, 15 years ago, probably. This is why, this is why you're going to get fired as host, Jason, for this kind of stuff. <laughs> Fucking don't know who Corey Worthington is. Get the fuck out. No, I'm late. Oh, Google I'll Corey you. Worthington and you'll recognize him. No, the next know, question yes. is, it's not really a question. It's a statement. Sweeney, your apology. Um, Sex offender. Listen. <laughs> I want to start sure. by acknowledging all that which I have, right? Uh, I want to say that, you know, all those kids. I have a great family around me. I live in a good suburb. Uh, but you know, obviously, I'm a, I'm a white person. Uh, but um, I yeah, I, I'd say yeah, allegedly, I'm straight. You know, I've got all these benefits. I've got all these benefits to me, and and that what I did is pretty inexcusable, given all that, right? Uh, but that at the time where it occurred, I didn't really realize what I had. I didn't really realize all the benefits that I had accrued that you know were to the exclusion of other people. Um, and in a lot of those, you know, I've been more circumspect of that, which I've done. All I want to say is, um, sorry to those who, who I wronged and then I'll get there. Really I don't think it will ever forget what you did, Sweeney, but, um, uh, next so question. I think, um, this is based on the Donald Trump telling people we should inject stuff. Should we inject disinfectant into ourselves to stop coronavirus? Jackson, what do you think? Um, probably not. It's a shit question and dumb. Yeah, it's a um, shit question. This came from um, came from you. You're trying to you're trying to pull the blame. <laughs> from Sean it's your shit question. It's not <laughs> funny. It's, it's you think like, it's funny? It's not. What it's it not funny. Like, people died, are, Sean. People are it's dying, not, Sean. People are it's dying. Not the person, According to it? Jackson, Jackson, justify your um your your statement where you thought you thought twenty thousand people were going to die in Australia in the next five months, four months. 
20 people, 20,000 people will die in Australia in the next four months. How many people are dead now? <laughs> He's like not 80. a lot. So many. Oh, probably, probably. In Australia. I, I think like, 20 like, people will die, actually. I don't think 100 people are dead yet. No, he told me in general, not just from coronavirus. No. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, no, it was it was about coronavirus. All right, well, we're not. Well, moving on from this, um, who's got the most nose hair? Um, I'll take that pretty minimal. I got none. Uh, let's have a look. But Jenna, light up there. I didn't. It's hard to see up. actually. I didn't. There's too booger. much in there. Oh, Jackson's booger. Jackson's okay. What do we? What do we believe? Who do we believe would have the most nose hair? Jackson, just based on Jackson. hair in general, probably yeah. Jackson. Jackson. Jackson or Cooper for me, surely. But I don't. I don't well, have, I don't like, have that much though. Arms. Yeah, yeah no, Jackson think... doesn't have much facial hair. I think Cooper. I think it's got to be no, Cooper. I don't have any. I don't point. have any at all. No, but facial hair for you. But did you pluck your hair? Does anyone pluck their hair? I don't pluck anything. Mm. Yeah, pluck okay. what? The nose hair. I pluck my well, pubes out. That's weird. That's Weird, actually, yeah. you think because if Cooper has the best facial no, I've got hair, no, no, but hair. I've got no like hair on my arms or legs. It's weird, but I've got like chest hair and beard. So you're a soy boy. Ass crack hair. You're a hipster soy boy. <sighs> yeah, I just really want. I just really want to. I just really want a woman to love me. All right, um, we start with Cooper on this one. Number ninety six, mini game, pig impressions. Fascination. Yeah, um, yep, let's go. <laughs> Who do you next nominate, Cooper? I swear you're next. Do your I swear you're next. You like that little piggy? Yeah, little piggy, come here, little piggy. Yeah, little piggy, that's what you got. Yeah, you dirty little piggy, aren't you? I got what do you got? What do you got? Um, uh. Wee, wee, wee. Wario. Okay, I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a pig getting fingered. Sean's is the best, actually. I, I no, think, Sean's is Sean's is. I think, I think it goes so Sean, much. Cooper, Jackson, and me. I think I think mine was. Yeah, yours was shit. Jackson had a good squill. I think Jackson. I, might, I, no, Jackson I had the best squill. No, I, think yeah, Jack, no, Sean, I think Sean's was the best. Sean had the best squill. But uh, tonight's MVP. Uh, we'll start with Sweeney in the top. What do you think? Uh, I, I really like Sean's efforts tonight. I think, you know, it was consistent. It was reliable. Whenever Sean had to do anything, he did it. You know, he was good. Sean. Um, I would go with, um, Cooper. I thought Cooper brought a lot to today. Um, I thought overall his question answers were the best. Cooper, what do you think? Uh, I don't really know. I can't wait for Sweeney because he left too much. Yeah. Also, Jackson left a couple times. Me and you are the only people who didn't leave, Sean. So I'll vote I left for you. Once. I'll vote left. for you, Sean. I left once. Did he? I don't, I don't remember. I left once to pay. Right. Jackson, what do you think? Um, I'm not going to give out an MB, MVP. I'm just going to say, fuck you, Sweeney. He's, you so, absolutely oh, have to give out an MVP. But you have to vote. That's the right. point. Uh, Sean, because he's awesome. Okay. Mm-hmm. Congratulations, Sean. Congratulations, Sean. Sean. I'll take it back. I'll take it back. MVP, well, Sweeney. I win anyway, because no one... Bo- I win anyway on two Was that a ding? Was that a ding? No, no not yet. I like to say I win, I win anyway on two votes. Um, all right, that's a ding there. So... Status of Plum Award for worst topic tonight. Mate, that's I think a fucking three of us. At Christy least three of us. Christy Hitchman. Yeah, all four. What the fuck? All four. What a terrible say, question. Kirsty, you get the worst. You get the status of the Plum Award for your question. Would you rather win a fight against a WWE fighter or lose a fight to an MMA fighter? Cooper, what makes you think I'd lose question. though? I'm Cooper, a trained. Why that's a dumb question? That is an incoherent question. It just it's, doesn't make any sense. It's, it's just, either would you rather win or lose on either side. Would you rather win or win? lose and Who get really would hurt? Pick win? But it's yeah. also it's like would you, you rather win, win an MMA fight or win a wrestling fight? See, no, that kind of makes sense. Right? That's, I, that's a different a question. question. But that's not because you can consider two sides, but that's just not the fucking question. answer. It then it's well, with I'd, MMA. I'd probably actually if it was a one-off, I'd go WWE because you'd make more money. Oh, but we have the money. But then you really beat someone to shit if you won an MMA. Yeah, we've done 101 okay, topics. As a one-off, you'd win the MMA fight, and then you'd get another fight as a result. Yeah, and then you get probably won't win that one. Money. Yeah, yeah. So, but you'll get another the, WWE yeah. fight. Oh, it's a coveted, it's a coveted award of our show. The Dude Hold My Beer Award for the best topic. Who does that go to? Sweeney Look. gets that. Uh, I, I really liked uh, whether for a big shit you take your shirt off. That was from James L. Hinton. That. Uh, that was pretty good. You've got to give it to that fucking Cooper? guy. Cooper, who do you that was think? my thought. Cooper, what do you think? Obviously disagreeing. I, I think... um, Fuck, I can't even remember it. Wait, someone come back to me. Someone go. I'm gonna go. go. I'm gonna go with um Joe Rafael with the best Asian country. While I don't think we answered it the best, I think that was the best overall topic. Jackson, who do you think? Um, Jess Tropiana for does Sean have an alcohol problem? 
Mate, Fair everyone one. fucking knows he does. <laughs> you shut you the know, hell why up, Why are you wasting right? everyone's time? Do we oh, answer the question of how frequently do we piss between shits? Sean, what's no. your question? That was Nabi's question. Why don't we answer that? Joe's. Joe's? What was Joe's? Sorry. Joe's was um, the best Asian country, I thought. Well, that was a good question. Oh, right. So that's got right. two votes. That wins, then, doesn't it? Uh, We're out of time tonight. Um, do I have to do the outro? Yeah, yeah why not, Sean? Absolutely. Go, ah, um, so I'd just like to thank everyone for do, um, tuning in with us. Um, you didn't do the Centurion, but you get the, credit of the screen at the end of saying you did it, which I've actually never seen before. I know that was part of the video. Um, thanks, everyone, for coming in. Um, ask more questions. We need, we need a few more questions tonight. Um, and try keeping in the same the same level. Of- we get more fans. Thanks. Yeah, because we can get more. Please remember to send us a message uh, about the topics or challenges you want us to do.